pancakes. We're going to put the syrup on our little stack of layered pancakes on this uh, next episode of Behind the Wheel. Hello YouTube, it is 4.30 on November the 2nd, 2020. Uh, here we are on this episode of Behind the Wheel. Sorry I'm late. I've been sp spent the last hour and a half trying to chase our dog who's gotten loose throughout the neighborhood. I finally got her back. <laughs> and, uh, and now I'm here late for the stream and I'm totally, totally sorry. Um, I'm hoping everyone's having a better day or a fantastic day. Um, it was a nice, at least it was a nice day here in Los Angeles. It was, it was really sunny, super sunny and, um, and very, very, very happy. Um, aside from the fact that my dog, um, was loose. So, uh, we're going to continue our, uh, our progress on the, uh, the camel car that we started yesterday, the Mazda Tenza group three. Um, I kick on. Gran Turismo today, and I get this. I'm getting this little message that says, uh, "Thanks for my continued support for the FI Grand, FIA Gran Turismo Championships in 2020, 2020, 2021 Nations Cup Exhibition Series Season One. A driver of your country region was the victor. Congratulations, PX PX Seven Windfire, for doing this. Apparently, oh look, I get two hundred thousand credits of money that I already have." <laughs> Oh, and then I get 5,000 mileage points of mileage points that I already don't use. <laughs> but thanks anyway, Gran Turismo. I know. I know I should be thankful for everything that you give me, and and I am to a certain degree. Um, but sometimes, sometimes, um, sometimes I'd rather just have the car than the money because I look. I've got four million one hundred thirty-two thousand. $30 I haven't used yet. Um, and 99,999 mileage points that I have yet to figure out how I'm going to use all of those. I already used what I can um, to buy all the wheels and all the paints and all that other stuff. I, I, I don't know what else I'm supposed to be buying with that money or give me a cool car, man. Give me something that I don't have to buy. <laughs> don't make me buy cars that I shouldn't have to buy. Like, uh, like, since I'm a Porsche driver, I shouldn't have to buy the, the LMP car. All right, enough bitching. Let's, um, let's continue with this little project. And if, um, for those who are uninitiated to the stream or just are picking up um, this episode, if you look in our last episode, uh, we are drawing influences for this car from two different places. One of the influences is a pack of camel filters. Um, this yellow pack in the middle or the tannish looking pack on the middle on the side here. And our second influence is uh, the this Porsche Martini design. Um, the biggest thing is, is the, are these Martini stripes, the uh, this kind of swoop that happens from the front to the back. And the multiple stripes that are within that swoop is what we're trying to emulate with uh, this car. Um, so far, I think we're doing a really good job. Um, we, we're just about three quarters of the way to the finish line. We have things to address still on the side, like continuing these lines here. Uh, I think as far as sponsorship decals, we're, we're pretty close. But I think we could probably still stick a couple on the side here. Like maybe up here right in front of the wheel well. That will probably be the spot where I put another tire decal somewhere. Or maybe even a suspension one. Uh, we'll do something. We'll figure out something for the front as well and the rear. 
Um, another thing I want to address is that the more I looked at this last night, these two lines, or four lines, should I say, I'm thinking the more I look at it, maybe I will extend this whole look over, like, maybe I'll put, make this whole part on top right here maroon and maybe I will continue these two yellow stripes up that path. Um, another thing that I'm also looking at is that I want all of these points I think to converge um, rather than being as separate as they are. I kind of, I think with our other uh, source file, which is this, the more I look at it, all of the points and yesterday I made the false uh, assumption or the false ident or falsely identified this car. And I'm really sorry as the Ford, I still don't know what the model is for F2000. I, it's because this small, this, this picture so small um, on my screen is that I didn't notice that it was a Lancia. And I should have, I, as a car person should have known that that was a Lancia and I kept on calling it a Ford yesterday. And, and that's a really bad thing. I'm so, super sorry about that. You know, I should have known better that all these cars in the back and uh, I think the ones in the front are Lancia. I think they're all Lancia cars. They're definitely all Martini cars. Um, no, I don't think, no, I don't think the two in the front are Lancias. But the, definitely all the four cars back there are Lancias. That was my bad. Once again, the, the, the screen is super small that I'm looking at it at. And then when I entered this picture in to my uh, little OBS program. I really kind of just threw it in because it was, there were a bunch of um, martini cars in there. I didn't really look at what the make and models were. So we're going to try to make our lines that go from the headlights to the front A pillar, I guess that's what you call it. We're going to try to make them all converge to one point like, like these do. It's not quite one point, but they definitely do all the, I think the, it looks like from what I can see, um, and this is on the laptop monitor, it, it looks like maybe the red line stays, is like the main, like, like it doesn't get as small as the other lines, but the other lines definitely do kind of converge on that one point. So, uh, we're going to have to try to figure out how to tackle that with this point right here on this car. So let's, uh, let's start with that. What would make sense? Let's just start looking at it. Stop Gavin. Let's start messing with it right now. So we're going to mess with the body. We're going to figure out where in the design that is. We're going to have to also erase the other side, at least most of the other side. Because once again, we've already, we've we want to be able to transfer all of the information that we have from this side to this other side, right? So if it's the wrong information, what's the point of having it? So we want to delete that one. We want to delete this one. Notice I'm also looking at where this cr this crosshair is going. I know that these triangles, because I've made this hierarchy very as organized as Grant as won't let me, um, I can I know that I am working with just these two effects here. Like when I go to this triangle, it's not going to go to the triangle on the other side of the car, or like you know over here on the side. It's going to always be these two um, these two assets here that I'm working with. You just have to look for the ones that are on the side that you want to delete. Because like I said, we are all we're doing is mimicking the look on one side on the other side. I mean it's good that we did this because we it helped us get a feel for what 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 it is that we want to do. Or all those other layers. Well, I 
guess we didn't organize it as well as we could have. Apparently we have... Oh, crap. Those... Oh, that's right, because those layers are... Okay, I get what's going on here. Let me find... Oh, there's no, those other ones on the hood. So, we're going to have to go to the hood as well. And start messing with the hood decals. Um... See that one. We want to delete that one. I think I'm pretty sure all of this is going to change. That's why we want it to be as clean as possible. So we don't have to deal with trying to navigate the, the hairy, hairy waters of this multi layer design. And it looks like, except for that one, that's the only one we have left. Oh, wait, one more, this one. Okay. All right. So let's start with... Just thinking here, how is this going to look? Because realistically, I would kind of want maybe that fourth gold line or yellow line to be where it is. I'm not happy where... Because I want to be able to carry that, those two, the last two lines. I don't know how better to like show this to you guys other than just zooming in onto where we are because I don't have a pointer. These two lines... I think they need to be, they definitely kind of, one thing I don't like is how they kind of squishy right there. They kind of squish and they don't look very proportionate there. We might even have to change the type of projection that they are so that they mean, projection methods so they maintain their shape. But I basically would like to have two gold parallel lines that run the extent of the hood line here, or the roof line. And then maybe meet up back here with this. So let's, before we even do anything else in the front, we still know that we're gonna we're gonna mess with this. So I want to just leave that as it is. But I want to also maybe above all, of, maybe we'll attach it to this work here. So we just. Just so that we're all nice and even. We'll add a layer above. Left. Mm, we can do a line with camera. And then we'll do this guy. So let's just start with the basic makeup of all of this. Oh, we ran into that problem. That's fine. Color palette. Maroon. Oops, shit. Is everyone doing good? Good. I mean, everyone having a good day? I hope this, this whole series isn't boring people, but I mean, you know, there's so many other people doing daily races right now that I'm just not a good enough driver for anyone who would want to watch me. Oh, shit. What did I just erase? I think I'm erasing stuff that I don't want to. I mean, there's, if you want to watch daily races, there's a lot of people out there that can do daily races. And they're way better than I am. I'm not saying, you know, I don't want you to tune into me, but I think, I think there is a plethora of people that you can watch. You've got your choices of people to watch racing. But you don't have that many choices of people that do this. Let's add a layer above. So we, this isn't this isn't something though that the um that the martini design doesn't do. Usually the martini design ends <coughs> right there. 
at the at the um the pillar but like i said before this is this isn't a martini design it's a martini inspired design and i think you're allowed to do that and if you're not then you oh oh that's gonna be weird how will it treat it down here so to a certain degree, it looks like any of that stuff there would be more comfortable on the roof. So let's try doing that. Uh, let's do add a layer above. Roof. Choose decal, align with the camera. Let's see if it's, yeah, it's much cleaner through the roof. So. Once again, we're having to deal with the limitations that I can probably get full coverage here. That were, yep, looks like it. So maybe I should be doing these decals on the roof rather than doing them on the, oh, see, but you get to a certain point and Grand Tours want it to treat it like the side of the car. So it looks like part of this part, this little A-pillar part, it wants to treat like the roof. Okay, there we go. Uh, I don't know if that's going to cause us problems later on, but let's not uh, let's not think about that. Let's not concern ourselves with that. Let's just work with what it's allowing us to do. Add new layer above roof. You know, like I said, this is a lot of this, a lot of this, uh, this process is all based off of experimentation and just kind of pushing the program into doing our bidding. Looks like that's going to be, this is going to, this part's going to be tough because we're going to have to deal with this little curve, but we're, we are, we're big boys. We can, we can handle ourselves. It looks like there's a little bit of overlap there. Let's continue to warp the f warp the piece to do what we want it to do. All right, looks pretty clean to me. Do I like what's going on? What's going to be really nice is when we do this, it'll give us. It'll give what I feel like is missing from this little hump back here. It will kind of give it a meaning. You know, it'll tie everything together, I think, nicely. So let's continue to do it. Duplicate there. And we'll move it again. We'll just keep on doing this all the way down. And once we get past this rear A pillar. And <coughs> Excuse me. We'll start figuring out how we're going to get to connect to the rest of the design. Once again, trying to work with the, uh, the, the, let's say, I guess the theme that I've come up with while doing this car. You know, I'm, I'm giving it, there's, there's definitely a very, very centered kind of design theme going on here. You know, it's not a bunch of random that random decals that I'm throwing together. I've got a very, very specific um, aesthetic that I'm going for here. And, and uh, that's part of livery design is whether or not you are achieving that, that level of design that you that you want to do. Did I duplicate? Yeah, okay, I did. So this, I think, is going to go straight down. <coughs> I could probably make this part bigger now at this point. <coughs> I mean, realistically, I probably could have done it a couple parts ago, but maybe we should start thinking about that because of 
um, decal count. Uh, maybe here we could probably econo economize a little bit. Uh, it's going to be tough, though, because of that little... <coughs> Once again, like I said, you want to really be careful about how you do these fills in the masks because you don't want to... You don't want to completely like use up your decal count to hide something. So, uh, give me a second. Let me get some of the drink real quick. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I, I'm super. I just needed something to drink because I'm still kind of trying to recover from having to chase a dog. So, duplicate layer. And then we want to move that some bitch. Oops, we made it too big, but that's fine. Uh, no, we're probably going to have to make it smaller. <laughs> Sorry. So, maybe if we can get this to follow that trunk, the trunk panel. We definitely don't want it to come out too much from there. So, let's just make it smaller and then make it run into that trunk panel back there. A little neater, but you kind of get the gist of where I'm going with this. We get it off of that just a little bit, just so I can cinch it up. We're gonna, we're gonna address that little tiny nut, nib, nib of a tan that we've got going on there. We've got one up here too that we need to cover. So maybe we finish editing that layer and then find this one and then move it just a little bit so it covered. There we go. And now, now we got to look at this. Maybe if this line came a little bit more, maybe we, at this point, we probably need to give it a little bit of a curve from the top to kind of match the curve that we got going on in the bottom. So maybe we want a curly cue. Let's, let's add a little noodle here. Add a layer above, uh, left side noodle, or is that going to be the roof? So that's let's okay. Let us see what what Gran Turismo will allow us to do. Is it okay? At this point, we can treat this as as the side deco color maroon. All right, that's looking better. Let me add, let me fix that one tiny decal. Maybe I can make this one bigger just to do what I wanted to do and cover that at the same time. And then we're gonna have to take it and kind of manipulate it so that it goes like that. Just make it wider. Okay, it's really subtle, really, really subtle. Right, and then once we get back here, I don't see any problem with just making this whole back portion maroon. So let's find that piece and just duplicate it. And we'll take it and move it down the line here. Move it all down the line. 
just don't want to oopsie at this point looks like only a portion of this is being recognized as being we don't want to mess up that yeah only a portion of this is being recognized as roof part the rest of it's being recognized as side so we add a layer above that and we'll make it on the left side projection method of the line with camera because we don't want it to distort too much we find where on the car that is or is it a maybe it is addressing it as the roof still now oh it's addressing it as the rear of the car probably at this point let's see if we can do the same thing to the rear kidding me what are you doing so is it the roof or is it the side or is it the rear what are you oh, all right maybe it's the roof I thought we tried the roof but it didn't work don't tell me there's a part of this car that just can't be deckled over roof let's try one of the surface maybe that was the problem choose deckle this one and then let's move it down the line here why are you not covering that little area back there oh oh that's right that's right that's right that's right I put two decals there duh where did I put those though did I put those on the rear let's see once again so I know what parts I use to patch these are these parts so I, um, that's another reason why you should probably standardize what you use, parts that you use, because then you can recognize where, what you typically use to cover shit up. I think it was that. Yeah. Let's delete there. Ah, because that, oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. So in the hierarchy of things, I might have to put the rest of those patches up there. Okay. Well, I can do that. Let's uh, let's do that. Um, now we can go back down to that one maroon bit that we were working with. I think it was this one. Yep. Okay, so we'll just move that higher up into the hierarchy. That's just gonna have to go at the very top of the hierarchy. Because what it's doing is it needs to be able to cover this part, but not, but also cover the um, that gold stripe, because that gold stripe is sitting above it. Uh, we could probably duplicate it and just finish off the work we need to do with it. Just gotta make sure we're not fucking up that thing. And then we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, wait, we gotta keep on moving it. Because we need, once we move it up in the hierarchy, it's gonna start covering that shit there. Yeah, okay. We might have to find something that's smaller or just make this smaller so it doesn't affect too large of an area once we move it up into the hierarchy. It's probably close enough. So let's move these guys. These two need to move up. Move layer all the way up. At least up beyond these guys. So um, let's put it here just since it's, yeah, there we go. And then the other one was, where are you? Where are you, little patch piece? Is it this one? No. Where are you? There, there, there it is. Move that guy up to above the gold pieces. There we go. And now we can continue to work with both of them just so that they're covering what we need to cover. 
and cover that. And we will cover, we'll try to rotate to cover that. We still need to cover those little two pieces up there, so let's do that too. Uh, probably can still do it with one of these guys. We just need to make it smaller. So that it isn't, so it doesn't start messing with all the rest of our design. It's gonna be tough because it's angled there. So we'll just make it really small. Honestly, we probably could use a curly cue. Probably be a better. Yeah, let's do that. Let's replace it. But you can always place it first. Um, this is another thing you can do. And just replace Deckel. Got to really, really understand which, what tools they give you. Like, if you don't know these tools, it's going to be really far more frustrating to go through this process than if you do know what the tools that they have available to you. I mean, it's enough to not, to kind of scare people away from wanting to use it. Okay, so. Now let's see if we can skew it enough so that it doesn't, it doesn't do what it's doing here. Uh, let's try tilt first. Maybe scale. Maybe we flip it around. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, once again, I'm trying not to use too many decals here. I think what's really messing us up is the uh, little pointy part of that. So let's, uh, maybe that isn't the perfect shape to use to fix this. Maybe our friend the noodle once again will be the perfect piece. Let's use the uh, kind of flat noodle. Flip it around. And then we can skew it, I think, straighter. We can definitely skew this to, to do the job that we want it to do. Yeah. Just need to be at the right part of right part of the curve. You know, the idea that it's poking on the window doesn't really matter because it doesn't show up on the window. But that is getting it pretty darn good. It's a tiny bit that's still in the trunk there. But I think that's it. I think that looks pretty good. Um... I don't, I want to kind of maybe extend. I mean, now I'm kind of okay with it, with its two gold lines not going above. I still want to even those two gold lines out so that they terminate in a not so funky looking fashion. I also think this wides, this one stripe, if you, you know, if we're going left to right, the most right stripe still is not the right size. I think it's a different size. It should be a different size. And it should at least kind of match the other four. I think it, it's either that or the one that's the third most from left to right. The third one looks like it maybe is too skimpy. I mean, it doesn't have to be accurate. It doesn't have to be right on. I'm like I said, like I said, I'm just trying to look for some sort of uniformity in the design where there's there's definitely like design cues going on and and I'm being very aware of the design cues that I'm using all the way across the the spectrum here. Let's uh let's try to address let's try to address these two lines. Um they are on they are actually on the car. So those are those. Where are the little tiny ones that are the closest there? Is it this? Yeah, I think that's it, All right? Ooh, this is gonna get all technical. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I see what's going on. I see what's going on. So maybe I like where that yellow line is. Let's, let's mess with the other yellow line. Is it this one? Yeah, I think it's... I think it's that one. God, I wish it would just highlight it, man. I wish it wouldn't flash like that. Good Lord. I mean, these are just small demands. I'm not a, I'm not a complicated man. I'm a very simple man. Very simple demands. How are we going to get those to meet up, though, to make it look? Should we get them to meet up in a point? Yo, what's up, Jared? How you doing, man? Hey, uh, I'm glad you popped in because I just... Uh... Oh, thanks, by the way. Thanks for... It does look pretty cool. <laughs> I'm actually really... Oh, God, Lord. I'm actually really proud of myself for how far we've gotten. I've never done a design like this before, so... Um, but I was going to tell you that there is there was a flaw with your design that I found that it, after looking at it a while, um, I realized that I'd made one of the sports stripes on the back a little too thick. So I fixed it and I need, I'm, I need to share it. I mean, let's do that right now, actually. I need to share you a new version because I'm not happy with the one that I gave you. <laughs> um, let's save this real quick. Yeah, I after looking at it, I, was, I can't remember why I was looking at it. I think it was during I was watching rewatching the video, and um, and I was looking at it. I was like, that one line doesn't look like it's right. <laughs> so um, I'll show you what I fixed. And I can't really show you the before and after because it doesn't let me do the before and after. And this is another reason why I tell everyone that is doing livery designs to definitely like really proof check your livery designs, yeah. <clears throat> especially if you're putting it up for people, other people to download. You don't want them to have to down. Like what I'm going to ask Jared to do is download this thing again. You know, you want to make sure that your shit's tight already when it goes out. <laughs> and I, I'm really sorry that you have to do this again. But what I fixed was uh. It, like I said, I, I'm a perfectionist, so, um, you know, I can't not, like, let a thing go. These two stripes here underneath the spoiler were super uneven. If you go back and look at the car that you downloaded, uh, you'll see how uneven they were. <laughs> this is closer to being even. I, I'm not... I mean, it looks like it even, it's, it's even. I don't know of any other way to kind of tell because like I said, I don't have a, like a ruler or a measurement system to be able to go, Oh, this is a third, you know, one eighth off one side than it is the other side. But I mean, it's close enough that it matches better what's going on on the roof here. I think maybe the black line thickness isn't right on the, the, the middle stripe. Um, but that doesn't bug me. What really was bugging me was the fact that the um, the one orange stripe on the right side was super off, and I don't know how I how I missed it. Uh, maybe it was because we were doing it so fast. I kind of missed uh, I missed that little flaw. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and share this now that you're here. Um, oh, you know what? Also, I wanted to do too before I share it to you. Um, I forgot to put. Little red arrows that point to your hook areas. So we'll do that right now. And also, technically, I should also put a 46 on the back here because I think by regulation you have to have your number kind of visible everywhere. So let's do that real quick. We can slam all that shit on real quickly. How are you doing today, man? Good? Let's see. Front. This is another. Thing is like you know realism this is a scale modeler in me I have to if if I'm gonna make something it's gonna look it's got to look the part dude it can't be like all sloppy and shit um, so technically I think where I've seen it on other cars it's kind of like this 
but it's like little decal details like this or what kind of make your design that you've you kind of actually went through the trouble of like looking at an actual car and are trying to mimic the look of an actual car let's see automotive toe I mean they would you know realistically have that and then uh remember we have 40 40 46 and then realistically it would have the numbers on the rear uh, probably in white because that's probably the most visible and we'll do that with the car that we're working on now too um it'd probably be somewhere like around here i would imagine And then we, because the fonts, like you don't have any way of like picking a font number for, or font value number for the size. You just have to take, you know, Gran Turismo's word for it and just duplicate this layer, kind of move it to, well, let's use the other layer since it's below. Uh, move it over. And then what I do is I just, uh, once again, use the rep replace the uh, decal button. Oops, wrong one. And you want to replace it with a six. So, I mean, that kind of tells you that that's, you know, the same size. It'll be the same size as the other one. And it, and it kind of will line up if you can move your stick straight enough. That looks better. That looks more like the part there. Oh, you know, and the other decal that I think we needed to add back here, just because it's a golf car and they're the ones that are um, sponsoring you, we would probably need to put a couple of golf patches back there just to kind of, you know, complete the whole realism of the whole thing, right? They've paid... A good amount of money to drive for you to drive for them so you have to you have to make sure you sell shit for them <laughs> uh, we will do this probably we could I mean we could probably just get away with one I mean realistically you would probably put two on there just because once you know because they're paying for the spot so um, I mean we can do two that isn't Anything that's unheard of. I mean, that's what it would look like with two. And I, you know, I've seen that plenty of times on race cars. Uh, just for the sake of aesthetics, I mean, that's kind of balanced. I mean, I don't have too many, too much of a problem with something that looks like that. You know, it just gives your, it gives the rear end of your car a little bit more business. You know, it doesn't look just too, it doesn't look too flat, but it's not too in your faith, faith like, my, like a lot of, I, like I said, I'm scaling down some of my cars so that they're not so busy back there. <laughs> you don't want to get too busy in the trunk. <laughs> um, I mean, that, that looks real enough to me. So I'm going to go ahead and. I don't know if you want to download it. You definitely want to download the fix that I make because the more that you're going to look at your car, you're going to be like, those stripes aren't even. And I don't want to be known as the guy that makes liveries that have shit that's uneven. <laughs> so, uh... Sorry. So let's, um, let's go ahead and upload this. And, uh, you can download it, Jared, once you, uh, get around to it. You don't have to do it today. It'll always be in my gallery. So, um, I will call it J Freeman V three. And, and this way too, you can also look at what I gave you initially. Cause I would normally just erase um, 
something that I've revised, but it's been getting a lot of likes. So I don't want to like pull it off. I'll just put a note on the actual thing that this is a new version that because the other version was messed up. And hopefully when people go into my gallery, they'll, they'll look at the latest version and just download that one. I mean, I should probably make a general one because everyone that does download it ends up getting your name on their, their, their on their, for their driver name, which there's only one Jared Freeman, dude. <laughs> there can only be one Jared Freeman. I just, this is the only way I can really share it with you. So, um, so it kind of has to go through that sharing, this, this, this whole option. Oh, you know what? I can just open it to friends, can't I? All right, cool. Look, I didn't even know that. Like, we learn something new every day. This will only be available to Jared now. I, I didn't even know that that was a thing. I just never looked at this. Once again, this is a, kind of an example of how bad the UI is in this this game. It's clean. You know, I'll give him that. It's it's really clean. Yeah. It just you can't find anything. <laughs> it's it's like so hard. It's so it's so hard to find anything in this 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 database, man. It's like they make it so like back asswards to find just the liberator. And I was looking at the menus for the new one for GT seven, and they're even more confusing. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, dude, you guys. You guys are a major, huge company, but I'll also say that Sony, Sony, um, sis, Sony's menu systems are always typically really bad. I don't think I know of one Sony product that has a, like a, a, um, a menu system that makes any sense. It's kind of like cameras. Like I only work with um, Canon because I think their menu system is better than Fuji or uh, than uh, Nikon's. I'm just going to say, download this, Jared. All right, let's see. I think this is going to go out to all my friends, so. Racing, Stripe, Revision. We went off to capitalize, sorry. And then add the decals. Jared, if you're still there, download this now and add in decals. I keep on saying decals because I watch a lot of YouTubers that um, build models, and most of them are from Europe, and everyone pronounces it decals. And after like two years of watching it, now I'm started. I, now I call them decals uh, for realism. Okay, there you go. All right, uploaded for sharing, and there you go, Jared. Download that, dude, because this is a much. Like I went through too and just made sure that everything was like all the lines were justified as much as they could possibly be. And, you know, tried to make everything as neat as possible. I mean, there wasn't much else that was wrong with it. I think I had noticed one or two things that I may have fixed that you lit, you probably would have never noticed, but I, I totally noticed. Um, but the one on the, the rear stripes were definitely like a problem. Like I, I was really kind of ashamed of myself that, that I released it so fast without like looking at it more. Sorry, dude, <laughs> but I made the fixes. Hopefully, I'll, I'll I'll make up for my 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 errors, the error of my ways. <clears throat> All right, so back, excuse me, back to this car. Let's um. Let's start messing with this yellow let's 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 give our yellow our yellow stripes a little bit more purpose here the the other thing i was looking at was when it was doubled on both sides 
I, I was kind of having a problem with maybe the, the sport, the yellow being a little bit too busy, which tells me that maybe, the, maybe they were too big and prevalent here, um, which they aren't in, in the, uh, I mean, they, they are here in the source photo. Let's go back to the source photo. See, so you see the the um, dark, the light blue line. Well, I guess it's the light blue lines, and then the dark blue lines would be the negative space between the light blue lines. Um, the light blue lines definitely look like they're smaller than we we've got here in our design. Um. Let us try to address those areas. Also in GT News, I heard today that the new season won't be starting for like until, I guess sometime this month. So we'll return to racing footage and me being really sloppy on the track. It's just that, you know, you know, I thought of doing all the daily races and like, you know, I know this is, been the kind of the conversation on this channel for the past, you know, couple of days about me not wanting to do, da do daily races. But I mean, honestly, man, there, there are a lot of people that are doing daily races. You know, if you want to watch daily race stuff, go watch them. They're way better than I am. And, and they're probably way more into entertaining to watch while they're driving than I am. I know, I know it's kind of fun watching my bumblings around the track but you know when it comes down to my like my daily score you know it just isn't worth it and, and like I said it's something that everyone else is doing I'm not trying to like harp on what other youtubers do it's just that I want to kind of like try to be a little bit more variety, give a little bit more variety in the whole uh, scheme of things. All right, this is this is doing kind of what I wanted to do. Um, yeah, I think there are far more people out there. Like I was, I like watching the key a lot. I like watching, um, you know, all the other guys, all the Brits. Most of these guys are British. Oops, no, we want to affect that yellow. Is that that one? Yeah, no, that's that one. It's the second yellow that we want to kind of move around. Yeah, that's a ticket. All right, so what are we doing up here? I kind of want to move that line so that it would be kind of where its other line is. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to finagle these two layers so that they do, these two layers will kind of, oops, we'll run up the A pillar. Is that the A pillar, front A pillar? Oops, no. Am I calling it the A pillar and just being sound like a complete, the B pillar I thought was the one that's in the middle, right? A pillar is the one that's in the front. B pillar is the one that's in the middle. And then there's a rear A pillar in the rear, right? Is that, the, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how any other way of like describing that part of the car. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right. But it wouldn't be the first time I was wrong. I'm wrong a bunch. I would just like to call myself out when I am wrong. That's some stupid shit, Eric. Okay, uh... Oh, come on, dog. You've been out all day. Why are you barking now? There. And... And so it's gonna have to be kind of like... Like that. I mean, I'm trying to get it as 
close as possible to even. And I also want... Let's take a look at it. I want it to be a little bit more exaggerated. That looks better though. Now this little, I want to fix this little gold overhang here. See this yellow overhang? Definitely want to fix that shit. So let's see what we can do to do that. I think that is, that, that is that it? No. No, it would be a wedge part. It would be one of these wedges up here. Those are side wedges. Oh, let's see. Maybe it is this. No, it's that one. Once again, we're starting to see the importance of making sure you're organized when you're working with this. You're working with the information that ground turismo will allow you to have. Very limited. But you can work with it. Just just bear with it. And and you'll you'll succeed. I believe in you guys. So I keep on going down. I wanna go I wanna continue going up. It's gotta be that one, I think. Yeah, that looks like it. So let's tip it this way. All right. So it's a little bit more even. That way we've got these two yellow lines. If we want to, we can chase those lines all the way across the roof. How they'll converge onto the rear is gonna be another case. But for the sake of making kind of the exaggerated move. Like we definitely want that big thick line of maroon in the middle there. Um, I think that looks a little bit more believable. It also it kind of adds a little bit more tension to the design. Makes it look faster in a way. We might not, I probably won't carry those. Not, the more I look at it, I don't think I'm going to carry those two gold lines across the roof. I think it's just enough that they end there. But I think definitely that I like the maroon. So that now means since we've changed the vector of... Of that one line, we're gonna have to adjust this yellow here on the hood to match. I believe it's is it that one? No, no, it's definitely not that one. Is it this one? Yes. So let's. Let's change you so that you match up with your friend. That's pretty close. That is pretty dang right on right there. It's definitely much better looking. It's there's more of kind of a uniformity going on there. Uh, it looks it looks the part. Um, as before, it just kind of looked a little too random, and I didn't like how how squishy it looked. I mean, we could probably work. <sighs> we could probably work those two lines a little bit more on the on body so that they converge more like the two lines in the hood. Maybe we should do that. Since we aren't gonna carry those lines across, I was just looking at it in the sense that maybe I'd, as an option, I would like to carry those two gold lines all the way across the roof line. I don't think that's gonna be the case. I think, especially if people would, are gonna be putting like, or people would put their names on the door right there. Uh, they would want that inf information to be pretty clear, so I think carrying 
And those two particular stripes would make it too busy for people to put their names on the door there. And I also just think it would just be way too much yellow line things going on. Why is there that gradient there, though? Where is that coming from? Is that coming from the gradient on the body? See this white on the top here? Where is that coming from? Is there a gradient on the roof somewhere? Or is that coming from that gradient down here where the camel is? The mysteries. The mysteries that the Gran Turismo livery editor causes. Oh, it's from that. It is from the camel. Oh. Well. We fixed that. I'm glad I spotted that once again. You're going to have an eagle eye when you do this, folks. You cannot just be half assing it if you want to be taken seriously. <laughs> as serious as you can be taken in a world where you design sports cars for people on a console game. Okay. That is. You can't play Carnegie Hall without some practice. Aldo Reigns. So, maybe we do a little bit of that. Not much. We don't want much. We just want to make sure. We're kind of going to want to... We're playing the illusion here that we are... It's an illusion, right? Like I said, this is... It's kind of, in, in a way, that you, ha you ha kind of have to work with the idea that it should get a ruler system. A ruler's... Our measurement devices. In this game. But it allows you the leeway of doing slightly imprecise work without anyone noticing it, right? Just as long as, just as long as you're careful and 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 you you're good at kind of eyeballing stuff like this. Um, that will be one of your keys to success. Let's let's move. is not quite on it just yet. It's a little thinner than that. That's what our terminating size is. Kind of like more like that. I'm willing to let... It looks like the one on the outside gets a little big. Gets a little bigger. But, I mean, no one, like I said, no one's going to really like look at that. Although if it was as messy as we had it before, and I wish I shouldn't have erased the other side so I could just A-B it. This definitely does look better, though. I mean... It radiates more. It's more stripey. Yeah, I like the looks of that better. Much better. Um, okay. Let's, let's try mimicking it on the other side and see what, we look, what we're working with here. So... Oops, wrong, wrong tool. Setting a bad example. Let's do it from top to bottom again. Just because that's how we do it in America. Duplicate and reverse. Duplicate and reverse. Why am I not seeing any difference? What's, what's there that's covering all this up? Oh. oh. Oh, okay. I got what's going on. That's right. I always have to remember that we're dealing half of this. Half of this is on the roof. Or on the hood. Duplicate or reverse. Duplicate and reverse. I'm glad you guys were there to catch that because that type of shit's gonna happen. 
in reverse. See, it's getting bigger. Duplicate in reverse. One, two. Duplicate in reverse. One, two. Duplicate in reverse. One, two. Duplicate in reverse. So the rest of rest of the design is sitting on the hood. All right. So we go here. Sorry, wrong spot. Here, duplicate in reverse. Now we've got our gold line. Duplicate in reverse. We got that line. Sorry, I'm just looking at the design here as it's evening itself out. Duplicate in reverse. Duplicate in reverse. One, two. Duplicate in reverse. And then one, two. Duplicate in reverse. That looks better. That definitely looks much better than what we had before. It's more of this kind of radiating yellow line thing, you know? It might not be completely even. As long as it's balanced between the two sides, I'm happy. You know, thematically it's even. Now, since we've, du since we've duplicated everything on reverse, Exactly how it is on this one side. It might not be even within the one side. That doesn't matter. Just as long as it's thematically even between the two sides, then that's all I care about. Since I don't have any, you know, precise measuring devices to measure any of this shit out. That's that's what you have to deal with, right? And that's just gonna be the reality of, of creating your designs in this in this in this uh, mode. So now let's find all of the ones for our pillars here. Shit, did I? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, and eleven. Now that's the new one. Okay, we can do that. Once again, we'll work from up, down to up. Should I keep on going into the wrong? Duplicate in reverse. That gives us our noodle. One, two. Duplicate in reverse. 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 And one, two, that should be our last piece. Duplicate in reverse. We do have this two pieces that are up here. We need to we need to actually erase the this fixing piece here. Just make sure it's the right one. So we want to delete that because once again we're trying to trying to keep that layer can't count down whatever we can whatever we can shave off you want to start shaving off as soon as you can. And that looks like it. Okay. 
there we are. I think we are probably, probably, at this point in the game, probably comfortable enough to start transferring everything to the other side. I do still, maybe we should work, we should work definitely, I think. Wow, I just changed this train of thought like four times. Uh, at fixing, or now continuing these three line, this three line motif. Which could honestly be probably pared down to these two lines that are now. Because like, I mean, to continue this third gold line might be an issue, but since these other two lines, these two lines on top of them are already kind of going toward the front of the car, maybe we'll just carry those two lines there and we'll just let that one line terminate into the exhaust. So let's try that. Uh, that would, let's put those with the rest of these lines, just so that we know where in the hierarchy we land. We just have to make sure that, okay, those two are the front end. So we're gonna have to work with, with that. We'll just keep those higher in the hierarchy. We want to kind of keep them in the area so that we know that they correspond with these lines. So maybe we'll just do, we'll do a layer here. We'll start our layering here for the, for this portion of the car, you know, so that there's just some sort of uniformity be, where we can find all these pieces if we need to come back and like mess with everything. So if you notice, like, you know, all of, all of the wedge up in the front is all in one spot now for both sides same thing with all of this like you know you've done a good job if if you can do this and it you know it points out everything you know i wish you could i wish you could name stuff i wish you could group stuff but you just can't do that in this this program <coughs> and we're good on we're good on decal count right now we're at 88 of 300 so um and we've had the majority of our design down at this point. We're going to double that count uh, slightly. We've we've already used maybe six layers of the other of the eighty eight, so it isn't quite. It's probably more like for the car. The way we've done it, it's probably more like uh, I want to say like. 70 decals per side now you gotta remember that we've already at, we've already duplicated the decals here and the decals on this side here so that counts into and i don't know how many of those are so i would imagine like 10 or 20 maybe so maybe in all actuality the decal count for this side is probably like 68 decals or something like that but either way, we, we have enough. We have enough, I think, that we're going to be able to pull off this design with no problem. Unless we decide to get really, really effing fancy. So let's, let's start stuff above this layer here. Left side projection decals to align with camera. I don't know why I'm doing it. Because maybe I just want it to maintain kind of its shape. Because we're going to go over a couple surfaces here. But what we're going to try to do is match this line. Which we can do like that. And we're just taking into consideration that maybe, once again, I, I don't know if this line is parallel. All I can do is guess and use eye work to see if that line is parallel. And it looks parallel enough, so it's... Uh, Let's duplicate that. We would imagine that's probably the same size as this one. Ooh, it's smaller. It's it's much smaller. That's fine. We can we can always match that. Maybe that maybe that's part of the look. Maybe this line will be smaller. Who knows? You know, there's there's a definitely 
you can be as pragmatic and as technical as you want, but there is a part of the imagination you're gonna have to that you're gonna have to use in order to pull this pull off a decent design. So that one is pretty close. This orange, this yellow one could probably use some a little bit of work. So it doesn't look it's quite lined up. And I don't think it's quite as big as it needs to be. That's too big. That's much better. Uh, no. I mean, it, sometimes it's hard to match these up. Sometimes they don't want to match up exactly. I mean, I could honestly just hide it behind this. And I'm gonna do, that's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to hide it behind this number plate. No one will ever know the mess that's going on underneath that thing. That's our, that's our, uh, our rug. So we just brushed everything under the rug. It's another saving grace for having that number plate there is that that almost served as a rug sometimes to just put all your crazy shit underneath of that. You know, there's a point where people are going to have to just suspend disbelief. Okay. I am comfortable enough to duplicate that layer. And we will bring its brother to the front of the car. To as far as Gran Turismo will let us put on the front. Whoa. Looks like. Looks like we're going to have to do it in two decals. And I also want to address what this maroon part is doing, but let's let's get the stripes on it first. Let's get the striping done first. That's looking pretty slick. Bingo. All right. So what I am looking at here now is the shape that this hole is making in the front bumper here for the, uh, I would imagine is the intake for this brake, this brake housing here for the air. Um, we have one or two choices. We can either let, let it rock like this, but what I'm looking at here is that once I continue this shape to the front end, I'm going to have to decide whether or not I want to follow the contours of this vent. I mean, I kind of like it where it is now. Just because I want this kind of two-tone look here to be consistent all the way across. The reason why I chose the height is because I wanted to kind of carry that stripe motif onto the front here. I think I can still do it. I just don't, I'm, what I'm worried about is, see how the maroon on the top here thins it. I don't want it to get too thin. So let's, uh, let's choose a decal that's gonna work for the front end and try to line up. Line it up with the rest of the design. It realistically needs to be kind of like that big. I'm sorry that we came on late today, guys. We're gonna we're gonna what I came on at four thirty. I mean, generally, this, this this stream is usually four hours long, so we'll just we'll just go for four hours, like usual. So it's gonna it's gonna end later than it normally does today, but I think um, we'll be able to get this done before then. I think. So. Well, maybe it doesn't really even matter. 
at this point because yeah I don't think it's going to really matter at this point let's see if we can get that that yellow layer to extend a little further oh I can't yeah I can't because it's going to treat that part as the front of the car so I'm going to have to Let's do this. Let's do it this way. It's that one, right? Let's add layer above. And we'll put it on the front of the car it's just so that we can keep this gold line, you know, in the same spot so we know if we have to go back and do any kind of revisions, all we have to do is kind of going where the gold lines are but it definitely has to be above that that maroon layer so let's cancel editing for layer layer editing for now let's move this gold this layer I mean maybe if we can move this layer even below these gold lines it, since it's in the front of the car it really doesn't matter just as long as it's yeah there we go so maybe we don't even have to make a layer for the front. Maybe we can just use this, this little guy and extend it forward. I'm gonna have to fix. All right, yeah, there we go. Let's try to get this to cooperate now. Yeah. You know, and sometimes you get happy accidents like that where, you know, what I was trying to avoid was this top maroon line getting too, uh, getting too thin, but it just happens that it naturally terminates really nicely with, with all that right there, all that business up here. All right. Let's, let's take a look at it before we start, um, moving stuff to the other side that looks the biz guys I mean you know I don't know how, any, how else to to make this any better I mean we could even give it a third yellow stripe but like I said I mean when I'm looking at thematically it, that yellow stripe would technically kind of terminate into the exhaust pipe since it's kind of curving underneath the car there Right? I mean, I'm just like looking at it in the terms of, you know, completeness and whether or not this is all kind of, you know, melding as, as one design. I know that probably didn't make any sense. I'm just babbling right now because I'm just I'm thinking and looking at the car. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's um let's mimic everything now onto the other side of the car. Let's do all of the striping and all this other crap. Let's move that to the other side of the car and then now then we can look at the full car and uh make our decision from that point on. Let's do that. So right now we've been only looking at one side of the car. We need to start addressing the other side of the car now. But I think we have enough to go on that we can just, yep, we're going to have to mimic all the way down to, what are these parts? Oh, those are probably fixing things, something. We've already done all of this. So all we have to do is mimic down to, to that. Okay, we can do that. Easy enough. Or... Duplicate and reverse. Duplicate. Duplicate. Mm -mm -mm. Duplicate.
So remember, we the rule is to once we get into these layers that look all the same, one, two. We'll always give it, and you, when we're also doing this, you want to make sure that the car flips before you. That means you've ch you've chosen the right layer. Layer. This this really can get incredibly confusing very fast. So really, really try to, try to you know take into find like a, a system that's going to work for you to to try to remember where stuff is in your design. One, two. Because there you will you will get lost. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. You will get lost. It happens to the best of us. It's no big deal. You're human too. I don't care how long you've been. Oh shit, be ready. <sighs> Delete layer, because that's in the front. I don't care how long you've been doing this. One, two. You're going to make mistakes because they, they give you nothing to work with here as far as organizational. You know, in the terms of organization, there's, there's just... It's whatever organization you make, you know, it doesn't matter. This is also why I kind of like am really push on just working on one side. Pick a side and just work on it. I don't care which side you do. Just just only work on one side. If there's any suggestion I can give that is, is most, the most important suggestion is don't don't focus on too many things because you're you're really going to you're just going to mess up one two. It's a recipe for a disaster. <laughs> One, two. One, two. One, two. You know, especially with something like, like this is multi-layer. I mean, without this system, that would be really screwed. I know it looks like a mess right now, but you'll see what happens. stripe is wrong that wanted to be flipped yeah that wanted to be flipped horizontally on reverse so at least we're let's let's finish hitting that layer so that layer would be this layer That, that I'm glad we ran into this. So, so 
So the reason why this, see this maroon stripe, how it's not behaving like it is on the other side. Because I skewed it a lot, I skewed it a bunch in order to make the shape that it's making on the, the left hand side. Um, what I needed to do to this instead of just duplicating and reverse is to flip it as well. Um, because because of the skew that I put on this side. So, you know, that's easy enough to do. You just go to that and go to flip horizontally and duplicate. And see, now now we've got... Now we have our, um, our nice... Our nice uh, swoopy, swoopy look. Now I want to be really careful at this point because I did do the same thing, I think maybe to this next line. One, two. That's our next one. Okay. Let's let's see. Wait, finish heading. Where are we over here? It looks like we may have already got. That line, though. No, nope, there's something we're missing here because. See how that switches? There's still that layer. I think it needs to be duplicated. What layer is that? That is. Are there two layers for that? Did we not duplicate that layer? No. Oh, you know that one may even need to be that one may need to be fixed too. Well, sounds like someone's in trouble. Cancel. Sorry, my microphone picks up everything in this neighborhood. That's what happens when you transmit or you broadcast with a $3,000, $2,000 microphone. <sighs> okay, so this also needs to be flipped horizontally. There you go. See, and you know, you just have to pay attention to stuff like that. <laughs> Even with, um, you know, kind of like a decent, like, kind of system to organize. You, you still have to, you still have to do a bit of like deduction here on what things are doing in your design. Okay, why why do we have this line here then? What is that doing? I mean, I understand that it's doing that, but how is that different from the line above it? Or have we not done that line yet? Oh, we did that line. Sorry. Yeah, because it's there. Okay. Now I know what's going on. <laughs> One, two. So we want that line. But why? Oh, you know what? Once again, we need to take that line. Take that line and flip horizontally. There we go. I think that's fixing another another one of the stripes. So we might run into the instance that one of these stripes need to need to be also adjusted. I just didn't see it. So let's give us our fill here first. All of our fill colors. Yeah, look at look at that. Look at how that maroon that. Both, I think all of the lines need to be flipped horizontally. All right. You're going to really have to like kind of take note of anything that you've, that you use a skew option with because you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to, you're going to have to flip and, um, you're going to have to flip, uh, horizontally. Yeah, so let's just get the rest of the design over there, and we'll uh, we'll worry about that later. What's that fixing? 
Okay, that's the front of the car. We don't need that in the front of the car. We do need though, it looks like. Why is that uneven? Why is that front part uneven? Where are you? Where are you in the high? There's a big square piece that I'm looking for. This piece. So why is it treating? See, I see somehow, some way, looks like her yellow stripe isn't lining up like it's supposed to. How is that possible? What is going on? All right, well, forget it. Let's let's fix this first. Look at that mess. <sighs> so now I'm going to have to go through. <sighs> All right. So I want to make sure it did everything it was supposed to there. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it did anything right on this side. I did so much skewing on that other side that I think, yeah, okay, I see what's going on. Yeah, all of those lines need to be flipped in horizontally. Well, I mean, that's kind of easy enough to do. We just have to delete all the ones that got duplicated on this side. We just have to make sure it's going to be the first one, right? Yeah, so... Delete that layer. If that one's that, then we're gonna have to do the same thing. Finish that layer. So one, that one is that one. That's the one we want to delete. So we're gonna have to do the same thing. Even that layer has to be fixed. <laughs> That's a tiny layer too. <laughs> so let's start with that one. So just a small layer that needs to be doing that. There we go. All right, so where else are we? That's that side, that side. We don't have to worry about those. It's just these we have to worry about now. So we're gonna delete that layer. That would mean that layer needs to be deleted. And like I said, I'm looking for every other one. Yeah, see, that's not the layer that we wanna delete. But that's definitely a layer we wanna delete. Delete layer. I mean, that's, that's, I guess that's one way of finding out whether or not you should be deleting something. Delete. Yep, delete that. And then delete, not that one, but this one. Nope, wrong. Wrong. We do want to delete that layer. Okay. Got it. I get it, Gran Turismo. If that's not that layer. That is that layer that we want to delete. Yep. It still doesn't answer the question about what's going on in the front end. 
Because technically... I want to figure this out now. Why isn't it treating... This is weird. It's doing something. It's like... Give me a second. That's the right. Somewhere. I, th I think we're missing a layer somewhere. Oh, it's that layer I'm missing. Okay. That's why it's not evening out, I don't think. Let's try doing this. What I'm looking at is... is see how this is... How this is higher than the other side? Why is it doing that like that, though? Maybe I should try reduplicating those. Maybe I should f try flipping them. I mean, it shouldn't matter. And once again, this is one of those mysteries of this whole process. They, they don't do a very good job of, of explaining any of this to anyone. Like me as someone who's, who does has been making livery liveries for a while now. I'm still doing guesswork, you know, on how this thing is, what this thing is doing. You know, I, it's just not acceptable. You know, it might not really bother the garden variety user, but it definitely bothers me. Because technically, this all should meet up like it's supposed to. But, it, but it's not. So let me take this layer. And let's try flipping it. This should not technically work. But something tells me it's going to work. But it doesn't still. Why is that uneven? <sighs> Fucking Grand Turismo, man. I mean, that's. I just have to rotate that one piece better, but it just. I still don't feel like it's. I mean, it looks even enough. I don't think anyone's going to notice if there is some sort of discrepancy. Whatever. Anyhow, let's just move on. It's going to just be one of those life mysteries. We'll let it continue being a life mystery. Someone later on down the road will figure it out. Let's see, we're going to flip all of this horizontally. One, two. Flip horizontally, duplicate. One, two. Wait, we've already done that one. That's that new back there. Okay. Flip horizontally and duplicate. One, two. You know, and this is another reason maybe you're going to want to really kind of simplify your designs. One, two. Because, you know, you, like if you're... Oh, no, 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 no. We, don't, we did that wrong. You don't want to make one line out of like 20 different decals. Because this is going to take forever to transfer over to the side. 
I know you don't have to really do any work to do it. One, two, but you, I mean, like, you're seeing how much, like, guessing work I'm having to do, like, one, two. And I'm someone who's, who's really familiar with this, this whole function. And I'm having, you know, issues, one, two. There we go. Now that wasn't too hard now, was it? So now we have the design of our car on both the sides. And I have to say that I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, let's do all the sponsorship decals on the bottom. Where, where, where did all those go? Oh, that's another. Duplicate uh, in reverse. You know, realistically, the sponsorship late decals would be the same on one side as they were on the other. Sorry. <coughs> now that we have, oh, sorry. God, that was loud. Now that we have the striping done, I'm looking at where else we could put sponsorship decals, but I don't think, I don't want, I definitely don't want the striping to get interrupted by anything else. So I don't think I'm going to put any more decals as far as like sponsorship decals on the in the front of the car like I thought I was going to do. You know, and that's fine. You know, Mazda doesn't have to have a million... Or this car doesn't have to have a million different uh, sponsors. You know, Camel's the big sponsor. Maybe they pay for most of the car. That's the part of the game where you could role-play a little bit and be like, oh, maybe, maybe my driver doesn't need that many sponsors. <laughs> I don't know. Find a story that's part of your story for your car, you know? So now you know, I'm saying you know a lot. Uh, okay. Let's now start, let's address the rear of the car. The rear of the car is gonna be really easy. I mean, I try not to make the rear too busy. I want it to have a lot of junk in the trunk, but I don't wanna have it be a caboose. Alright. So, we know we want all of that to be maroon. Like that. I'm now seeing where this yellow line didn't quite meet up what I was supposed to do here to the rear, but I think it was because the car at this point is now treating this part of the design as the rear of the car. So I'm gonna have to probably continue that yellow line and it might not even be a bad idea to continue it all the way across. Tip, but thematically I think it would be better if it, if it kind of terminated itself into the tail lights. So let's try to do that and see what that looks like. So let's get this piece just small enough that it will fit in the area that we want it to do. It looks like it's very close. I mean, close enough for government work. Uh, it looks like it's too small for its job. No, it doesn't. Let's mess with it a little bit, see if we can get it to fit a little bit better. I mean, that's what's close. And since we're not skewing this, we should be able to take it and just duplicate it on reverse like normal. Yeah. I've been happy with that. Uh, what, we're, what are we going to do back here? There's not much room to do anything back here. I mean, we have the area that's just on either side of this sensor and where this camera is. I think those are backup lights or that's maybe a fog light, a fog lamp. I mean, I would imagine it's a fog LED. And this camera, we have those two spots there that we can use. Um, there's this slip here that we can also use. I mean, I don't, 
The problem is, is that we probably put a tow hook sticker there. Like we did for Jared's car. Let's try doing that. Oh man, that's really distorting it. Because it wants me to look at it from this angle. So maybe we should do... That's a really good example of how the projection method really does matter. Um, let's see how it does with the line with surface. See how bad it was distorting? It was because it was it was constraining its its image, its look to wherever the camera was. So if I were to look at the, that sticker from that point, then it will always look like, ooh, it's still distorting it really bad. But it looks like once we get it to a small enough size, it's just when it hits this, it distorts a lot. Maybe this car doesn't have a tow sticker back here. Just for that, just for that reason. I mean, realistically, it should have a tow sticker just so that, you know, crews know where the tow, tow point is. Not like they wouldn't know that that isn't a tow point, but, you know, most of the time when... I mean... Just when you look at it from the top, I don't like how it distorts. So maybe we won't use that sticker. Maybe we'll use... I don't like the one that came with the game. They they have one, but it's just too ugly. It's just maybe we can change the color of this. If we can change this to red, that'd be fine. That doesn't something that doesn't have any type in it because it looks like, or maybe we want it yellow because it is on a maroon, and the tow hook is yellow. I Man, I've never really seen it yellow tow hook arrow, but can we change the color? No, nope, we can't. Can we? No. I mean, that doesn't, I'm not, not yeah, it works. Shit. Why not? <laughs> I mean, it matches all the other yellow we've got. I know it's, a, you know, aesthetic thing, but One in the front would probably be red, but I don't know how else we can signify that that's a tow hook because it's, it's a really tiny area that we're working with. I mean, maybe we'll just put the one in the back and just be happy with it. Let's, um, let's put our team... Let's put our, uh, what would typically be back here is your number. We use 48 is what we used. Um, I would imagine like here would be a good spot for this. Kind of like in this area. Once again, replacing the di oh god, replacing the decal, so we can match the size that of that font. I mean, that's the least good of us is like a, an, a way of like doing fonts accurately. That's the least that you could do for us. I don't like how ripply it looks, but I mean, I mean, I can always do the lazy thing and just assign it my number. Yeah, fuck it. We'll just do that. We'll change the number and on the side before. This is a car I'm making, but you know, anyhow. So I mean, my number is kind of also part of my trademark. I like thirty-two a lot. I don't know why. I have a I had an R thirty-two. Maybe that's part of it. And then we'll change that color to white. It's a lot. Well, no. 
Oh, no, no, no. White. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll make it just a tiny bit bigger. Just to fit look. Maybe move it over here. The only reason I can do this is because this is a custom decal that I made. Um, normally you would have to move the two numbers individually. Um, I like my numbers because they don't fringe out like the ones that Gran Turismo gives you. You know, and gr even some of these shapes will fringe out. I mean, if you get really close, you get uh, how kind of unclean it gets. It's just, that's just the way that it works. And, you know, you're just going to have to deal with it. Okay, that'll work. Like I said, this isn't this isn't a really perfect system for doing all of this. It's just a, it happens that a lot of people n know how to kind of work with the restrictions that um, Sony or Polyphony Digital gives you to do your designs. You just have to work with it. Uh, that looks, that's looking pretty much the part. I mean, uh, we still have to figure out stuff to put on the back bumper here. Maybe we'll give NGK some representation back here. They already have that sticker there. They don't have too many other stickers, so maybe we'll give NGK some love. Uh, not to mention it'd be nice to kind of just have those circles back there. So let's, um, let's continue with our, our, uh, sponsorship. Maybe NGK only bought uh, those two spots on the car. You know, they don't put these on because they just like those products. They, they're being sponsored by them. So, I mean, that kind of looks the part. Just have to make sure that when we flip it on the other side, maybe we should just do it on this side first since this is where the numbers are. We don't want to interfere with those numbers but we want it to be even on both sides so let's do that we'll duplicate it in reverse there we go uh, and then maybe we'll give mobile one they're big enough sponsor I think that we could probably give them another we'll give them another another nod on the back here yeah, and this is kind of like the story that you make up in your mind. You know, definitely I think I want to feature Mazda Speed back there. You know, this is this is a Mazda car, so maybe we'll that maybe that's the only decal that we'll put back there since Mazda is the manufacturer. Maybe maybe that's what we'll do. What were they under Mazda? Did we put them on uh, sponsors? No. I think they're just in my collection. Let me see if I had... I know I downloaded a couple more. Excuse me, that day. Maybe we just put... Maybe we just put this one back here? I mean, that would be kind of cool. We just need to get the right one. I don't think this is the right one. Where... Uh, I want to specifically do a line with the camera because it's going to be on a flatten of surface and then you also don't want to distort your sponsor your sponsor's image because that's a branded image they probably paid millions to have someone design so we want to make sure that we follow along so maybe Mazda Speed will sit there that's actually kind of a nice spot for it and then what we could do is we can put What we can do, ah, this is gonna work, I think. What we can do is we take this camel and we put it over and try to fit it in that area there. Probably too small for a sponsor to realistically want it to be that small, especially a main sponsor. They're gonna wanna have as much real estate as possible to sell their wares. All right. Put yourself in your sponsor's shoes. That yellow camel would actually be nice. Let's just look at it. Ooh, that's actually really nice. Oh, oh yeah. 
I just wish it was the same color as our gold stripes. And that's the one, the one thing it has going against it is it does not follow along with the, the color scheme that we have here, which is we've kind of faked because I don't have any way of like really reliably color matching um, something in this. Uh, let's try. Let's try the stray camel. I mean, that could be very nice. It's just I think that's probably too small. Maybe if we swap the two, we'll make camel down here. And that way they can play very well with each other. Let's make it pretty big. I mean, that's probably, that's probably just enough. We wanna make, we wanna, we wanna make sure that we're using all the available real estate to, to sell product, all right? And since this one is already kind of small, but it's long enough, we can make it fit into this little area here and still achieve the same, the same effect that we're going for here. Uh, that looks pretty darn good. I mean, that looks believable as a car that maybe existed at some point in time. Um, what we can also do is put the mobile one stickers. And, and I know this seems re ridiculous to do this, what I'm going to do here, but it happens so many times on like race cars. Like you don't, like I said, you, you're, you're, you're paying for space. So, so you're going to put your, 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 uh, your stuff wherever you can on the car. I don't care if it aesthetically looks good. It's like, I've seen that before. You know, this happens all the time when it's like, why are there two mobile stickers right next to each other? But you know, you see that happen. The, the sponsor paid for the space. They don't care what it looks like on the car. They just want to make sure that their their product is being seen. Put it yourself in their shoes when you do this. You know, you want to make sure you're selling your stuff, man. That's the whole point of sponsorship. That's not like they're fans of the driver. <laughs> I mean, in you know, you would want to think that they're fans of the driver and that's why they sponsor him, but they know that they're fans of that driver because that driver is popular and can probably sell more products <laughs> than a driver that's terrible. That's looking pretty darn slick, if I don't say so myself. I'm, I'm really happy how this is coming along. We're, we're still not finished. We still have to do some finishing touches here and there. For the most part though, I think that might actually be what we're doing. Now we have kind of to look at the roof and the rear wing. Uh, but for the most part, I think the body is finished. Let's start addressing the roof. I have one singular concept for the roof. Uh, is that I kind of want to mimic what's going on on the hood, but do it reverse so that you know, the little hat, the little arc that the word camel does it makes is opposite of the arc um, that we're going to put on the roof. But we're going to go for the kind of the same thing. Since I couldn't fit this on the hood, I think it would be uh, a good spot to do it um, on the car. But I want to, I want to go, I want to go all out. I want to put this along with this you know on the front of the car or on the hood of the car roof sorry the roof of the car so let's um let's do that let's uh let's put this this motif on the roof and i wish like i said that i knew 
Let me let me bring something else in just so I can line everything up. Remember what I said? That when Gran Turismo pops things in, it's usually on center. And it's usually straight. So we're going to use that. Reasoning as a kind of a ruler to tell whether or not this is going to be straight. See, it's already not straight. Because I had to, you know, when I brought it in, I had to rotate it. So this line's not going to really be here. I'm just going to use it as a template or a way of measuring whether or not this is going to be level. It doesn't even look like that's level, but it's, it's just a trick of the eye. Let me just make this black so we can... Nope, 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 nope. Use original color. We want to make this black. All right. So now, now we have a good sense of where this should be lining up as far as it touching or crap. Oh, it's doing that thing. Christ. It's up and down. Oh my gosh. Um, it's reversing because it wants me to look at it this way. So it's reversing on my controls. Oh, that's so annoying. Is it? No, you want me? You want me to look at it this way, right? Oh, come on. Do you really want me to do this this way? God. Yeah, it does. That's really annoying. What it's doing is, it's when I look at it this way or this way the inputs that I'm putting on my controller aren't the inputs that that I'm expecting it to. So when I'm moving it left and right, it's actually moving it up and down. And when I'm moving it up and down, it's actually moving it left and right. So it wants me to look at it this way in order for it up, down, left, right to be true. I don't know if that makes any sense, but... So uh, we're going to also add another line just to give us what conceivably would be the center line. And it doesn't look like, doesn't look like that's in this right spot. So we need to move, we need to move it so that M, let's move this above this. You see what I'm doing here? I'm using, I'm using, I'm using the idea that Gran Turismo pops things in on center and level, and I'm using it to, to make my own kind of ruler system. Oh God, I gotta do it like this. Oh, fuck. All right. I mean, that looks, that looks pretty center. <sighs> so frustrating, I swear. It is super, super frustrating, especially when you're trying to do something that needs, that requires precision, like something like this. And you have to use kind of like rudimentary methods. It's almost like, I can imagine how like early, like astronomers and stuff um, had to deal with stuff that they had to deal with. And early, like sailors had to deal with like kind of like this hacked together system and try to figure out where in the world they were. Okay, well, I mean that's pretty center. I mean as far as as far as Grant oh, I shouldn't have remember. this is another I wish they had control Z but they don't That's another gripe I have with this this program. It doesn't have any kind of like undo or whatever. So we want that one. And then we want 
because we still need a center line. And then we need another layer like that. Yep. Because once I start moving this stuff, it's it ends up it ends up going a little crooked. So I gotta try to really very carefully move this layer down. So that I have like a level of some way, somehow to measure. Oh God, this takes forever. You don't want to do this fast. The faster you do it, the, the more chance you have of it going left and right. Once again, this is just a, just, just a tool to you to help me center stuff. It's not going to be there when we when we finish the uh, the design, but I do need to be able to lay this ca this camel in and try to get it centered, and I need to do this flippy flippy thing to it. The hump I think is center on this thing, and then I want it to be level, so I need to bring that level bar down. No, wrong bar. Please, Polyphony Digital. If, you, if someone from Polyphony Digital is watching this, oh my god, that's so annoying. See what I mean? Because I'm looking at it at the wrong angle. It's gonna invert all my controls so that everything is all back ass words. If someone at Polyphony Digital is out there, please just. Give us the option to like have some sort of like control or like I don't know, just something that is better than what we have here to to measure stuff. I mean, I don't know how hard it would be to just put a center line down the center of the car. I mean, that's all I would really need is a center line and a rudimentary grid system to just kind of line all this stuff up. It's just so annoying to have to deal with it in like this draconian method it's like so i feel like so like oh, sorry i'm just trying to get this to uh, right yeah. this is so like and, and so much technology at your disposal and you're i'm still having to do things that people did in like the renaissance period <laughs> to measure stuff I mean, that looks pretty close to being even in the middle and also level. And that's the most that you can do. To do, f I'm glad we had to kind of go through that because I don't think we've gone through that at this point. I don't think we did it with Mikey's car, which we probably should have done. Um, or not Mikey's car, Jared's car. But that, that car was so linear that um, it was just easier to kind of base everything off of the center line as being the antenna, that rear antenna. And I'm still using that as a center line. Um, but it, the whole idea that, like I said, the decals pop in on center level, whenever you put them in, uh, you know, using that as a given, you know, you can turn it to your advantage so that you can use it to do stuff like measuring stuff because you don't get any of that. All right, so we've got this little background here. Shit. All right, well, I mean, at least this is this is gonna be easier to do because all we have to do is match it up with the camel. And as you notice, we're gonna have to probably... God damn it. We're gonna, we're gonna as soon as we get to this point, we're gonna we are going to put that decal below, which that looks pretty darn close. No one's ever going to look at the roof. The only people that are going to look at the roof are people that actually own, put the sliver around their car. That's not to say that I don't want it to be exact and accurate because I do for those folks. Okay. 
now all we have to do is do the duplicate the sunburst. Let me look at my pack of smokes and see. Let's look back at the pack of cigarettes and see if if that uh, sunburst is behind this line that delineates the sand. I think it is. I don't. I think that. Is just treated as uh, a sand, so I don't think it gets a sunburst. I think only the sky does. I mean, let's go switch to the. Uh yep, it looks like the sand gets treated as being like a dark-ish yellow. Um, and then everything else behind it's kind of that white starburst or the white f gradient back there so let's uh let's do that let's execute that that shouldn't be too hard so let's uh how are we gonna do this below the pyramid level We're going to probably have to put tan strips below that pyramid level. But it's going to have to be above the level that we put the starburst on. So let's do that. Let's let's put the burst, the white gradient in there first. So we're going to add a layer below. Roof. We're going to find our white gradient, which is here. I think it was this one. I actually kind of like this one for this. For this particular job, I'm going to move it down. I'm going to make it larger. All right. Okay, that looks starting to bleed over to the side. So we don't want that. We definitely don't want that. I think that might be enough to get away with. We'll put it more up here than it is on the bottom because we are going to try to mask that from the bottom there. So we want to move this layer down below the camel as well. All right. That seems pretty, pretty darn close. We're getting there. We don't even, I don't even think if we put that there, I mean, maybe we can make it a little bit bigger. We might not even have to do any masking behind. What I was thinking of is like the sand area here doesn't look like on the pack of camels um you know that's 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 brown it's not it's not this white starburst here we might even lose be, be able to get away with that let me um address this layer because it doesn't look like it's still it doesn't look like it's totally lined up Looks like it needs to go that way. Maybe, maybe it goes further back. Uh, might be close enough for government work. I, th I think that might be close enough for government work. Once again, I don't think anyone's going to really even notice. I think that looks good. I think that looks pretty darn good. You know, we don't have any sports stripes and then we have enough sports striping going on, so we don't need to carry a sports stripe all the way to the back of the car. Um, and it is achieving what we want is to make it look like a pack of camel, camel filters. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I like it. This is a car that I would like to drive. Let's address now what we're going to do with the spoiler and the mirrors, which should be pretty easy. The mirrors literally will just get... Like, I don't know who is putting a million decals on a side mirror. And they allow you, like, 50, but it's like, how, how do you fit 50 decals on here? 
but they look it looks good maroon maybe we will do the rear the rear wing no maroon as well guys I think we're getting pretty darn close here Yeah. You know, I can deal with it. I could I would buy that for a dollar. We're gonna finish this early. I, I thought it was gonna take the whole well I didn't know it was gonna take the whole four hours, but I, I didn't think we were gonna, it was gonna be this fast. Well actually I kind of did, but this is poor planning on my part. Okay. Alright. Let's see uh, what we can stick back here just for the shits and giggles. Just because, like I said, we're gonna try to use as much space as we can to sell shit, so. What would make sense to me in that sense is maybe Camel is also gonna put shit back there. I don't know who is putting 100 decals on. I mean, I can just barely get these two on the rear wing to like work. I think we went over the rear wing. The rear wing is a really, really, really touchy spot. If you think that we've had problems trying to fit um, decals on the actual car, wait till you get to like the, the rear wing. The rear wing, I've seen people do some really cool stuff back there. I don't know how they do it. Uh, let's, let's, let's give you an example. It's better than me show you an example rather than gab away about it. So let's do a line with the camera. We choose decal. Let's let's use just a regular tiny decal. We'll just uh, we don't want to look at that. So if I were to put decals on the rear ring, I would also want to put them on these sides, right? Now you would think, regardless of what projection method definitely with a line with camera you would think that Gran Turismo wouldn't warp or it would just put the decal here on the back side now this isn't really crazy this isn't anything like psycho this is actually one of their decals which should technically work right you would think that it wouldn't spill onto any other part of the car or whatever but, well, we still have to fix in the back there. I'm glad we looked back here. But once you lay that decal down, it does this. I don't know why it does that. I don't know how it does that. Now, what you could realistically do, and, and this is how you'd probably have to address this problem, you also have to look at the bottom of the wing too, because because if you look on the bottom of the wing, I think, yeah, see? See, now it's also stretching on the bottom of the wing. Which, on the top of the wing, that's fine. What I could do for the top of the wing, or the spoiler, is I could just cover it like this, you know? You have to be, if you're going to do it this way, you're going to have to be really accurate. Like, you can't, you're not going to be able to touch the side. Because what happens is it starts, as soon as it touches that, and you kind of have to play with it, right? That goes away. But you still have to deal with this on the bottom. There's no way of dealing with it on the bottom. It only gives you the option to do right, rear wing, left wing, right wing. There's no bottom of the wing. So, like, I know my Porsche RSR came with a, a decal back there that I, I would love, would have loved to have kept. And I've seen it in other people's designs where there's a Porsche decal that goes on under the wing. And it's really nice because it's, it's just a really crafty way of using the bottom of the wing to, to sell shit. You know, it's a surface that you can put a, a decal on and, and it works. 
I'm, I'm sure you could probably do the same thing here. I don't know how you do that. That is one of those unanswered questions that I have concerning um, livery editing on this. Like, like I said, there's no, there's no guide. There's no nothing that there's nothing that tells you how to deal with the situations. And as someone who, you know, spends a lot of time designing in this thing, it's really frustrating. It's it almost frustrates me to the point where it makes me sometimes not want to do this to not design stuff anymore because it's just so like why why can't i use the hundred you know why why do i have to go through the hoops to use the 100 decals that they allow me to put on here like who's even going to put more than three i mean knowing that it's going to do that how maybe you need a hundred decals to fix it <laughs> i don't know I'm not going to do a lot of work, though. I mean, I've already done the work on the sides of the car. Why am I going to, you know, put myself through the hell of trying to figure out what type of voodoo magic's happened back here, man? It's just frustrating. I mean, I, I know it's like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, first world problem? It's definitely a first world problem. You know, I mean, none of those other pressing things happening in the world that people are worrying about. But in my in my adventure to try to help people have a good day, that does not help. <laughs> that limitation does not help. Uh, I don't know if I like where I'm going with this. Maybe, uh, maybe we try to do some thin lines, maybe. I mean, the, I can't really get this line much thinner. I mean, maybe that. This is going to take forever if I do it like this. I just want to kind of give it like, I want to treat I want to give it, I'm going to give this rear wing some sort of treatment. I just don't want it to be like maroon. Plus we have the time to do it. So you guys are going to have to just deal with it. <laughs> no one's saying anything otherwise. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. If I had like a huge receptive audience, um, right now I only have Jared, and I'll definitely listen to what Jared says, but no one else inputs anything, so. So you guys, we just have to suck it. <laughs> You're just gonna have to take the entertainment that I'm giving you, or you can just go click on someone else. Uh, I guess that's one of the. It's one of the perks of being a very small YouTuber right now at this level. I can just make those types of decisions. I don't have to really worry about my audience. I mean, I do, but right now I'm really servicing a very niche elite audience. All right. I like to think of anyone that's my audience as being elites. You guys are an elite crew that watches me drive terribly on loss on, on Gran Turismo. <laughs> uh, let's see, is this this isn't gonna really work. If someone under really close scrutiny it falls apart. Because you see all these little tiny like Little joining lines where the this is all joining. I mean, maybe we shouldn't have to be worrying about. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. There you go. That's the closest thing you have to Control Z. 
on a really close scrutiny, you'll see the little... I mean, I could probably do this much easier with just two decals. So let's do that way. I don't know why I did it this way. And I know in my heart that there's an easier way to do this. Maybe I'm just doing this to waste time. Or maybe I'm just doing it because it's spaced out on what I'm supposed to be doing here. But that's that's what you do when you do when you do this this whole thing. Once you start designing, you just do stupid moves and think of better ways to make your design better. Uh, let's make it. Uh, we can do this really big. We're gonna still probably have to uh, do some doctoring. Can I make it really big? What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get like some. Hold on, give me a second. How far are you gonna let me go with that? Before I start really impeding on the sides there. Looks like we're pretty much at the limit there, yeah. Pretty much at the limit. Let's just hope that it's oh shit. I think that should technically, nope, that's not centered. It's fine, it's just a tiny bit off. All right, let's see when we do this. We should start crawling up at the most, at the even, at an even rate. That looks pretty even right there, okay. So we do that. find the point that they're going to start doing that and they'll just slowly back it off till it hits there we go so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this layer we're going to make it maroon I mean honestly since they do give us a hundred decals for the rear I shouldn't really be worrying about label count. That's kind of nice. Okay, so maybe we can take this yellow layer and we'll just duplicate this in reverse. It should give us... Oh, no, didn't do what we all wanted to do. That's fine. As long as it's there. Uh, let's see, it should still be underneath of this layer. There we go. That's the ticket, baby. Let's see if we can get this layer to go a little bit bigger, just so that, I don't see that yellow. Yellow there. Oh, shit. Oh. Just trying to get, like, a uniform two yellow stripes going back there just to kind of match the yellow striping that's going on on the rest of the car um, I will buy that for a dollar and then ring roof what I'm kind of trying to mimic is kind of the um, the gold film plasticky thing that goes around uh, the pack of smokes that you use to that you would use to peel uh, the cigarette pack open. Not that I'm condoning smoking to any of you kids out there, but that's what happens when you. I mean, God, if those supports weren't there, maybe what we could do is maybe we can make. And I've seen this before, where you have that, and then that, and that's still, sorry, that's still pretty acceptable. You know, it just gives the, like I said, the the menu, the, the the sponge is looking at every possible avenue of like putting their name all over something, just so that 
there's a brand awareness. That's pretty slick looking. I mean, I, I'm really hard pressed to think of any other things that we need to put on this car. I think this might be finished. We, we may be finished with this design folks. I don't know. What do you guys, what do you guys think? I mean, I, I think it's pretty done finished. Sorry. We're not mistake. We are finished. We need to f address these two little guys back here. Let's do that. Once again, this is a part of the process of proofreading your design. Just to make sure that it's, it's the real deal. It's the real McCoy. You don't want to put sloppy shit out there. You know? You don't want to be known as the guy that doesn't really care about his livery designs. No one wants that. That's why I'm here trying to help you guys make cool stuff. Because I get it. You might see this and be like, oh, I could do that. I want to make sure that you guys are doing it to the best of your ability. And we will take that, match our car. Once it's matched, sorry, the wrong button. Take it, duplicate and reverse, boom, done. All right, look at that, guys. That's freaking clean looking. That's pretty slick looking. You know what I really like? I like the gradient, how the gradient really isn't, the, it, like you can feel that it's there, but you don't really see it. It's, it's more of something that is like a highlight and it highlights the camel on the side. It highlights the camel on the roof and then on, on the, on the hood. Ooh, people are having a good time outside my room right now. One thing, sorry. One, one thing I did off camera last night before we ended the stream or after we ended the stream is I noticed that this tan line in, on the back here was, was a little bit too uh, close to the, that yellow lines above it. So I just evened it out. That's, I do kind of have to address this here. Like I don't, I don't see it from back here. I just see it from up here. I mean, just, just for shits and giggles. Let me see if I can't fix that. I mean, you know, like I said, I'm just proofreading now at this point. Main concept is finished. Um, we've executed what we wanted to execute. Now we just want to clean up just a little bit just to make it more enjoyable for people that want to download it. You know? I mean, I know no one's paying for this. But it doesn't mean it has to be of bad quality because no one's paying for it. You know? It's like an honor thing. You want to make sure that you're... You want to make sure that you're achieving the most that you can achieve, right? Maybe that's just me. All right. That looks like it's... Oh, 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 what's going on here? I see. I see. I mean, I don't really see it here. I mean, I kind of see it. It's just, I don't know how much more fixing I can do to get those lines to meet up. The question is, will anyone ever see the little minor fixes I'm doing here? I don't even know if anyone at home at TV land knows, can see what I'm doing here. You know, I think I might have just been happier. That, I mean, that looks close. But what I don't, since it's such a big noodle, it's, it's starting to affect the one over here. So maybe we just won't mess with it. In that sense, we'll just hit cancel editing and just let it be. Is this going to be have to be our little secret? I mean, I don't see it. I don't know if any of you guys see it. 
I mean, I slightly see it. I only see it because I'm the one that made it. So I know it's there. It's probably going to bug me, but I, I don't know what else I can do in order to to fix that little mishap there. And I want to start adding a bunch of stuff to it. I mean, I could. I do have the space. I've got another... I've got another 100, 142, you know, decals that I can put on. So I could literally sit there and just paste 142 or at least half of 142 decals right there. But realistically, I don't think I am. It just seems like it's a lot of work for very little payoff. I mean, but I can still probably slam something in there that'll... We'll do a better job. Let's we've got the time. Let's burn it. Let's try to find it. Let's try to find something to fix that. I'm not gonna necessarily be worried about where in the hierarchy. I just want to make sure that it's above that it's above everything else because it's gonna fix it's gonna fix like the real just the weird funkiness that's going on there. Um Let's try skewing it first. I don't think I don't think that's gonna work. Can I skew it like this? Son of a bitch. I don't know how I'm gonna get this to work. How did I get it to work yesterday? I think I had to make a really big one though in order to do it. In order for it to do what I want, yeah, I had to make it really big. That's right. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna. Let's make a huge one. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fix that, guys. I think that's just something that we're gonna have to live with. I mean, I don't. I'm sorry that I know the bleed from the other room is just it's, it's a lot, but it's it's the uh, environment that I have to work in. Um, I don't have like a red filming light outside of my room like they would in the studio. Everyone knows that I'm filming right now, but it's not paying the bills so they can laugh as much as they want. Until this starts paying bills, this whole thing starts paying bills, I can't really make any demands of people that live, live with. I'm just, like I said, I'm like looking at this now critically and just trying to find things that I'm unhappy with now that it now that I've been messing with a spot I just see it now but I, I don't think any of you guys in TV land should see that I mean I could try working with a negative and try to just cut that line just a little bit but it's a curved line so it's going to make it really really tough to try to get something in there How can I solve this issue? I mean, technically, it'd be widening it out. Maybe if I make the noodle in the back just wider. Where are you? You are. Where are you? Noodle, are you? You're that noodle, okay. Is that one even back here? Yes. But that's not the one I want to mess with, it's the other one. It's your brother, Noodle. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you know what? Maybe it is. It doesn't look like it's showing up that bad, though. I mean, when I look at it... I'm sorry I'm pining over this, but I just want it to be right before I blast it out to the world. I just don't want to have this... You know, finish this and go, oh, wait a minute, i got to make a revision, everyone. Hold your horses, don't download what I just put out, because I'm just being 
careless and just haphazardly throwing stuff out into the world. I don't want to be like a video game developer who puts stuff that's unfinished out onto the internet. <laughs> um... I'm also looking at the stripes and the hood just to make sure that I like what's going on there, and I think I do. It doesn't bother me that this, these two don't pinch like those. Maybe that's just part of the design. At least, like I said, like I said, uh, at least it's symmetrical between sides. It doesn't necessarily have to be symmetrical on you know, in the same area. Just as long as it's symmetrical between these two sides, I think I'm okay with it. Which, you know, we get me knocked out with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, duplicate on reverse. That's why you reuse it. You know, I'm kind of, I'm happier where these, at least these two lines are also kind of Slightly symmetrical, way more symmetrical than they were before. The top line, the one that's more um, closer to the windshield, I th it's definitely a lot thinner. Not a lot thinner, but just thin enough that if you were to look at it re like really under close scrutiny, you would notice that the, that they're different. But I mean, no one's gonna re realistically know it unless. It's someone that's trying to figure out what the, how to build a livery again uh, would be looking at. You know, most people that are going to be downloading this thing won't be aren't going to be looking that close. They just want to slam something on their car and go into the the daily races and and fuck up their score. Um, <laughs> uh, this is the other question I'm asking myself: Is that if I like? this little part here this little triangle that's happening here do i like that i mean right now would be the time to address something like that maybe i should put a little half boardy ramp quarter pipe kind of thing in there just to fill out i do like how it kind of mimics this shape here that does um the molding or trim piece around the window how that's kind of shaped it's kind of got the same thing going on but maybe we should just round it off a little bit just to make it feel a little bit more like uh like that just i didn't feel like putting something there so let's uh let's address that uh, let's put it, where are you? Let's put it around here, so just in case. We're probably going way into more depth than anyone really does think about when they're, when they're doing this. But you know, I don't. It's not like I treat it like life and death. But I definitely treat it pretty seriously. You know, seriously enough that, you know, I'm someone who creates things, man. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to make. I don't want to be known as the guy that creates crappy shit. <laughs> uh, something like that, maybe. You know, I would kill me to think that I was the dude that made. Like, oh, that just, dude, I just, that guy just makes crappy shit, man. <laughs> he doesn't pay attention to what he's doing. The only crappy shit I make is content right now for YouTube. But at least my, like, my liveries to look good. <laughs> My design game's pretty cool for YouTube. It's just my... I don't know if the content's great, but... No, 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 no. I would hope this little series is kind of more imaginative than... <coughs> that layer below. More 
imaginative than uh, someone who's just half-assing it. I'm trying to make stuff that's, you know, entertaining. You know, we could use one of these decals for the tow hook. Hmm. I never even thought of it that way. Well, we'll look at that when once we're done with this part. You know, every day I find something new in this little livery editor that will help me out, help me execute stuff. How do we like that? I mean, it doesn't look bad. Actually, now that I fix it a little bit, I want that curve to be a little bit more. I mean, yeah, let's do that. And then. We'll do a little bit of this. A little bit of this. Hmm. So now that line kind of travels nicely to meet up with the other line. Just make sure we got the angle right. I mean, might as well. We're here. There's no reason why we can't be. Maybe, maybe something. Let's make this curve just a little bit more natural. All right. Maybe, maybe we can do something like that. Now, like I said, we're just nitpicking at this point, but, you know. I have the leisure to do that, so we might as well take that leisure. Yeah. I like that. It almost, and I hate saying this, it almost reminds me, I don't know why it reminds me of the Dodge Charger. Uh, not, nothing against any of you guys that drive the Charger out there. It's a, it's a good car. I wouldn't personally drive one, but I mean, I'm not saying that anyone that drives one is a bad person. My roommate drives one. They're fun cars. I just I wouldn't personally drive any of the Dodges because I think they have terrible. I don't know who. I don't know who designs Dodge cars, but they they're not made for people that have eyes. Um, because <laughs> it's not because they're ugly. It's just that because uh, they just have terrible blind spots, man. What's, what's going on here? Why is this not? Maybe we have to flip that horizontal. Oh, maybe because we have, because we, duh. Because we did skew it a little bit. We need to, um, finish it again later. We need to take that layer. Is it this one? Yep. This one we need to delete. And then we need to take this one. Once again, flip horizontally and duplicate. There we go. Because I skewed the layer, I have to, like I said, flip it horizontally and duplicate. That, that looks pretty damn good. Now, now that line that comes down off of the roof line has kind of a, it flows now into that, that line. Before it was just intersecting with it, but now, now it comes down like a waterfall, like naturally. Like naturally, that's what I want that line to do. That's nice, and it frames, it frames that whole back area really nicely. That, I, I don't know about any of you guys. I like this. I like this, and I like it a lot enough that I am going to now save it. 
I've scrutinized pretty much everything I need to scrutinize here. I'm, I'm looking at everything, just making sure that everything is lined up and I don't have some weird aberration going on. I still wish that bottom yellow line wouldn't do what it's doing. I get why it's doing it. But I wish it wouldn't do it. I mean, it's just such a really small quibble to have. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. I, I just wish it wouldn't do it. But that's just... If I want to have that third line exactly where it is, I'm just going to have to pay that price. Sometimes you have to pay the popper, guys. Or pay the piper. Pay the piper? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Well, half the time I'm just mumbling. Hey, honey, you have some stalls at all, studs at all, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, everything looks pretty straight. Um, I think... I think we're ready to prep it for... for the for the store. If anyone wants to download this, this will be available as of the end of, the, or this part of the stream on my gallery. Um, definitely follow me if you like deliveries that I build. Um, because it's probably the easiest way to kind of keep up and definitely friend me on Gran Turismo so you know when I push out these liveries. I mean, I'm, I'm going to try... As it is now, the way that I have my time and the channel is structured is that anything, all my video game time, like any time that I'm on the PlayStation is being broadcast right now. Like, I don't play games not on the internet or not on YouTube now. So, um, these liveries will probably um, always be broadcast, the creation of them. Uh, so if you're not a friend of mine, or if you don't follow the channel, um, the only other way to know that whether or not I made a real, a new livery is to just be a friend of me on Gran Turismo. And like I said before, I'm not going to push on you guys to follow me or like and subscribe. You guys have already heard enough of that spiel from everyone else. You know, I'm not going to be another person to tell, oh, hit that like, smash the like button and subscribe. If you want to do that, that's fine. You know, you can smash like and subscribe all you want. And I totally, totally, totally super appreciate it. But I'm not going to shove it down your throat every five minutes like a lot of people do. Um, but I'm just saying that if you want to download any any of these liveries, it's, it's, they're always, it's always going to be easier just to get them straight from me uh, through my gallery. So just definitely look up Kaboom Operator on Gran Turismo. And friend me, I don't have any problems having a million friends on there. Or even on the PlayStation, you know, platform. So we can play games and stuff together, too. I mean. All right. Let us save this car. We'll call it. Uh, we'll call it. The Camel. Mazda, Atenza, Group 3, or Grade 3, or whatever the GR means. I think it's Group. And then we are finished. Uh, we will change the color chit to a three color type because we did use three colors. Uh, main color would be 10. Secondary color would be maroon. And the third color will make our yellow. There we go. We might even want to just swap it around. Maybe we'll make this one maroon. We'll make this one tan. We'll keep the top one yellow. Uh, I liked it the other way. Because now you can't see that there's a yellow and a tan. So this one is tan. This one's maroon, and that's yellow. Okay. And then we're going to go save as. 
there, there are probably a bunch of duplicates now in my library that we'll go through and we'll go through and delete and I'll show you all of that too. Shit, let's go ahead and apply the livery now. I mean, I don't drive that car. You know, I'm a Porsche driver, so I don't normally drive this car, but I can always put it into escapes pictures and stuff. I don't know if any of you guys use escapes, all the, any of the photo, um, options. I mean, we can go over that right now too. I just, um, that's how I make all my thumbnails for the page. Is They're all pictures that I've pulled from Gran Turismo. Every single one of those thumbs for Gran Turismo is being pulled off of Gran Turismo. And it's, there's an endless possibility of, of how you can, uh, of how you can, uh, portray your car. Anyhow. Uh, so now you have two options that can either say, okay, which would just save the car to my library, library, library. Um, or you can share it. And, and as we found out today, there are multiple ways we can share this thing which I didn't even look at. Um, generally, I do open to all. If I were to, to do, if I were to do something that's like specific to my, just my friends, I definitely would go to open to friends and then, you know, only my friends would see it. Uh, and maybe that's, that's a good way for just people that watch the stream to get it. Maybe I should do it to open to friends. Since my following isn't that big, <laughs> I'm going to go open to all. Uh, our first tag and this is how people, I guess, will find the livery. I, I, I honestly don't think people use this search tag, sec, you know, part. I mean, people like me will. I don't know who else would, would though. And I don't blame them because, like I said, they don't make a very good... They don't make a very uh, easy way of, of knowing that any of this stuff exists. I mean, it... Really, really terrible, terrible laid out um, user interface for this game. Okay, so what I generally do is I take, you know, who the main sponsor is and I'll make that the first tag. My second tag will always be the manufacturer and the third tag usually is always um, the make of the car. You know what I forgot to do? And I'm glad we, have, we haven't shared it yet. The one thing I forgot to do... This is, I always, I've been forgetting to do this on all my cars lately. I need to give myself credit for this. So on every single one of my cars, I have been putting my personal, my personal tag on the back. Uh, it's not gonna be big. I don't want it to be too intrusive. But maybe where that 32 is, we'll put this here. But then I don't want it to skew that much. So we'll cancel editing, add layer, rear, projection method, we'll align it to the camera, choose decal, personal decals, we'll do that. I mean, maybe we could put it right there. Just don't like how it's just don't like how it's doing that. Maybe we'll maybe we'll just put it underneath of this guy. It's it's just treating it really weird. Okay. Let's try doing it with uh align with no, we just do align with camera. Let's do align with surface. I would like it just to be one singular decal. I don't want to like overpower everything else. But I don't want to not advertise myself. You can always advertise yourself. How are we going to do that in a manner that isn't too gaudy? That looks like a good spot. And then we'll take, we'll slip. I should really, at some point, uh, I 
at some point I need to st I need to build this actual asset so I don't have to keep on doing this because I'm having to build it in game which you know isn't terrible but it'd be nicer nicer if I could just slam it on there and be like okay it's done Down. I just don't want to run into that NGK deckle too much. Guys, if you have a logo, definitely put it on your stuff. Not like there was a bunch of these um, liveries lying around. Um, but you definitely want to kind of differentiate yourself from everything that could possibly be out there. I mean, if you have the means to do it, you might as well do it, right? I do, because I'm lucky enough that I have a, I live with a graphic designer that designed all my stuff. Um, where is it? No, it's in the Porsche. I, I steal this one that, this one decal that is a Porsche decal. Where are you? Where is it? It's just the word motorsport. It's not those. It's, there's one. Oh, there it is. Okay. Don't worry. Well, you will see it show up. Don't worry. Oh, no, I just put it above. There we go. Rear. Choose tackle. Shape. Mm. You know what? You know what we'll do? You know what we'll do? That's even going to be even easier. We'll do the old duplicate this joint. We'll turn that black. You know, I do real simple, like, I try to keep this as simple as possible. Just because I want it to be legible. Okay, that's doing its job. So we want to do that, move that above. So this is what I mean by I kind of want to... I need to start designing something that is a little bit more easier to apply to a car like this I'm this time I could be spending doing something else it's a real small detail I mean no one will probably ever see it but I'll see it and that's all that matters in my mind Okay, and then we'll just add another piece. Finishing it, I'll just duplicate this. Now that we've got our counts down, we can add as many decals as we want now, now, now that we've got, now that we have our design finished. We can do whatever the F we want. So make that. That. Okay. And where, where are you? Okay. We need to straighten you out just a little bit. And there you go. Now we have a car that's branded. Uh, we'll do it on the other side too, just to, just to match everything up. Function, duplicate reverse, duplicate reverse, duplicate.
reverse. Do begin in reverse. And duplicate in reverse. Boom. Done. All right. There we go. Now we're branded. Now we have even branding going all the way across. And there is no, there's no question about who designed this car. I'm not going to make it huge. You know, I don't want it. It doesn't have to be gigantic. I'm not that vain. Uh, but I definitely wanted to put like a signature. I want, you know, it needs to have a signature of some sort. That is now finished. Okay, that's uh, save. Since we already have all of that stuff, we'll just save again. <coughs> save as. I only like using save as if I'm going to do my final save. Um, and I want to make it uh, stand out for maybe the work files that I have. Just in case I want to go back to and reference one of those work files. But generally I just delete them all and just let's save the last one so let's go through this whole process again I think now thinking in the future I, I need to start thinking about doing different different liveries for maybe my two cars that both Porsches I've got some ideas I have some ideas that, um, like, I would kind of like to do this on my RSR, you know, make a, uh, livery like this for the RSR. I mean, I also do want, I want to make a new Hello Kitty livery for that car. And what I was thinking for this season is maybe flipping. Excuse me. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm about to burp. Um, I'm thinking of flipping my my sponsorships so that um, the the sponsors that I used for the um, the Cayman will become the sponsors for the RSR and and then um, the RSR like likewise on the other side the RSR uh, sponsors will go. Uh, did I save? Why didn't it ask me if I wanted to share it? Did I just press that button and just was I an idiot? Just okay. So what I was thinking of doing, like I said, is to flip the two sponsors so that Hello Kitty and uh, my brands are on the uh, the Cayman and uh, the Tamiya. Shit, I should have put it on my car. That's okay. Well, that, that'll give us an opportunity to show you how to actually apply this livery to your car. Oh, I can't wait to SSD. No more please wait. I was thinking about this last night. I've been playing Alien, Alien Isolation. I know I bring it up all the time. Um, what are they, how are they gonna do elevators and stuff in games if, if, uh, if, uh, you know, the car has, or the system has an SSD. Technically, you know, nowadays when you have like an elevator scene or something, that means that uh, that was a kind of like it's like an easy way for programmers to to uh, to uh, work in level changes, so you don't feel like you're always sitting on a loading screen. So if that's the case, and the SSD comes in, will elevators actually be functional <laughs> instead of just being a way of tricking in people into thinking that they're going into a loading screen? I don't know. That would be very interesting to find out. I don't know if any of you guys knew that, but like whenever you go into an elevator in a video game, that's just a way for them to hide that you are loading, loading a level. Uh, all right. Let's put this as retro or replicas. We'll do replicas. You can give like, you know, your, your livery a, a, a genre. I mean, I generally just go with like pop or unique or something like that, but this is a replica. This is kind of like a replica. So, uh, 
this livery settings, I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't know who actually goes, I'm looking for a white livery and uses that. Like I said, the system's already pretty back ass words, so. Uh, let's see, let's put a little message. You can always put a little message. We created this. I always gotta be spamming livery during my. But you know what? It gets views. I will tell you that much. If people like it enough, they they will tune in. Uh, it works. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deny that this doesn't spamming doesn't work because it does. W, W, W. Dot. Oh, shit. We want brighter. I wish I could have a template for this type of stuff. Stream G T Sport Content. You're watching spam being made right now. <laughs> Content. My every day. We'll just say every day because we have. A typing constraint here too. Every day. Every day. Between. 3 p.m. Except for today. Sorry. Once again. To. You can blame my roommate for leaving the door open. 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay. That sounds good enough. Easy. Simple. Not too in your face. Done. So let's save this. And, or this is now going to share it with everyone on the network. And then what we'll also do is within my gallery... We'll show you without telling you. I probably will immediately start getting likes on this. It usually, is, if something something like this usually gets pr liked pretty quickly. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll also take like, a, especially if I want people to like look at it, I'll go here into scapes and do like a, a picture. Um, Let's, uh, where, where have we not used? We haven't used Manhattan before. What does Manhattan give us to fill? I mean, I'm a California, I'm a Los Angeles guy. Uh, but, uh, I love New York. I really do. If there's any other city I would live in, if I wasn't such an old fart nowadays, I would probably live in New York. We could probably display it on this this area. I just look when I look for these. I always look for uh, um, a picture that will allow me to show kind of the roof area as well. I want to show off. Try to try to show off as much as a car as I can. There, there is one picture that I use typically. Or one landscape that I use typically. You can also do this too in the um, in race. If you were like race this car, if you save the uh, the replay, you can take the 
well, let's just do that. That's probably the best way to just to get the angle that we want. I, I kind of wanted to put it in the scapes um, because I think the scapes are cool. <laughs> you know what? Before we even do that, let's 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 upgrade this car first. I've got 99,999 mileage points. Uh, oh, it's already it's already leveled up. How about that? Okay, fine. Let's uh, let's take her out. Let me adjust game volume because I had it blasting last night for Alien. Oh, maybe we keep that high. I think this is going to be low because I have I have the in pretty low here. So we want to do arcade. Uh, let's do single race. Should I make it be any of these things? Honestly, let's say single race because let's get a bunch of cars in there in the picture. Let's actually let's do custom race. That way we can set up which track we're on and all that other stuff. Uh, what track would be the most picturesque track? Let's uh, you know I'm really I really like Catalonia. I also I also like um. I like Fuji too as well. Let's do. Oh, man. Let's do Laguna Seca. I'm just trying to think of all the all the points that we can take pictures at. I'm just trying to figure out where, which, which tracks can have the most picturesque setting um, for our for our car. I don't know if any of you guys knew that you know you can do this either. So I'm kind of glad we're doing it. That does look slick though once it's finished. Wow, listen to that horsepower. Uh, we're not going to go too far in this race. We're just trying to find a good spot to take a picture at. So. Ooh, that's loud. Ooh, this car really handles really differently than the Porsche. <laughs> this might be a good spot to take a picture at. Let's we'll do one lap. Wow, man, I can see why you attend guys are so fast. This car really handles really well. Dings. Dude. In the computer. I want our car to be nice and shiny. Hopefully you won't show up too much in the picture. You computer, you guys. You guys break far too often. I think this is where we're going to take the picture though me passing those two cars. I mean, I would like to get it in the corkscrew, but it doesn't look like there's any cars around me. Man, this is a really nice car. Maybe we'll take the picture here. to finish the race in order to get okay let's finish the race so I think I need to finish the race in order to get the replay 
and I'll show you what I'm doing here. I wonder how fast of a lap I can do in this car. Maybe I should have driven a Mazda. I would imagine driving a GTR is kind of like this, too. I don't know. That's, that's an always all wheel drive car as well. Cool. Maybe we can do the picture here with his bumping with the Mercedes. Or the BMW, sorry. Definitely don't want to take the picture there. <laughs> we, had, we had some good spots though where I think we're going to get some cool pictures. Yeah, I don't know if any of you guys that race do this, but like when you save your replay, That might even be a good picture with all those. When you save your replay, and I, I hope everyone does save the replays because there's lots of cool stuff that is in the replay that they don't talk about either. So you go up to race settings and you do, uh, or not race settings, sorry. Replay, save the replay. Doesn't matter if you, uh, won it or lost it. You can always make it look like you won. I've done it a couple times. <laughs> um, and then you go into you go into your library and you watch the replay over. And what I'm looking for are spots in the race that the car is going to look good in like points in the track that are have some sort of context about where you are. Like it would be perfect if we could find one that had a Laguna Seca of um uh sign in it somewhere. But it doesn't necessarily have to. I'm also kind of looking for moments that are um that are like dramatic moments in the race. Like this could be one. I mean, no one needs, needs to know what part of the race is in. So what I did was I hit the camera, like I paused it. All right. I don't even think I hit pause. Um, but if you press your X button, you'll have all these options. If you go to race photos, you go to walk mode and then you can just walk around your car and just find the best angle. I mean, that's pretty cool. You know, you try to find an angle that's going to kind of show off, show off the livery of the car. I kind of like this one because it does show off like the side of it. If we, if we do it right, we can get kind of the side and, and what's on the roof in there. You know, I think down from down here would be also cool, but then you also kind of miss what's going on on the roof on the side. Um, let's let's move on and see if we can't get a better angle. We could always rewind to that spot. Um, but let's see if we can find something else that's a little bit better for angles. This would be kind of cool. As we come down the straightaway, we get all those cars behind us. Um, you know, as a photographer, I mean, I can give this image some depth there like that, you know, I want to find a tighter racing moment. Let's just continue. Let's continue on. Where was that moment? We were going up uh, the corkscrew hill when all three of us were, were together. 
That car does look good. It does really, really look good going around the track. It looks the part. Uh, we don't want to advertise that. <laughs> I mean, unless you want your image to be the guy that runs cars off the street or off the road, go for it. I don't want to depict my car that way. <laughs> or being behind other cars. I want to depict it as passing other cars. <laughs> like right there, I think, would be a good spot. Let's take a look at what we have. You know, we want to definitely be on this side of the car so that, you know, the central central theme of the picture is my car. We give it some context. And then uh, this is when we're going to start doing the fancy shit. I mean, that's kind of cool. Let's uh, go down a little bit. Just want to give a little bit of skyline. I don't know if anyone's ever... How much photography you guys have done in your lifetime. I've done a lot. I w worked in the industry that is all camera based. Uh, one thing that I see in a lot of people's photos is they put a lot of what's called sky. You know, kind of like headroom. Unless there's like clouds or like really interesting clouds, you really don't want to put as much headroom as most people do in pictures. I find that people really kind of put way too much sky in their picture when it doesn't really have any kind of anything, anything to really do or accentuate whatever it is that they're shooting. That's just a um, pet peeve of mine. I mean, we don't want to obscure it too much. We don't want to use too many of these filters because we want it to stand out. Now, one thing that happens in this mode that you don't doesn't happen in uh, in the scapes mode is that this will automatically pan with the car because the car is is in the middle of an action. What you would get in the scapes mode is that you would it would uh. Let's, let's see if we could. It would um, allow you the choice of either do a panning mode or not, and what speed the car is traveling at, and whatnot. Um, what you do kind of want to pay attention to is uh, you just want to make sure that it is it's panning, especially when you're trying to show off a livery. You don't want it to be all blurred, so you want to make sure that it's it's moving and rotating with the camera. What that will do is it'll blur everything. And then you also want to pay attention to your shutter speed. More so for everything that's in the background than it is for anything that's in the foreground. The slower the shutter speed, it means that the aperture was open wider. So therefore, um, more stuff's kind of get, get, going to get blurred by motion. I could get and you know, go for hours about how all of that stuff works, but we're not because it's not a photography. <laughs> this is in a photogra photography based uh, stream but that's a this is a kind of a cool way of, of uh, that's really actually nice looking it shows off the car it's not too blurry uh, I could probably put the f-stop higher so that the um, that it doesn't bl so it doesn't blur the image it doesn't look like it's blurring though Looks like the only thing that's getting blurred is everything that's behind me. I wonder if I can blur that out a little bit more. Ah, uh, I've already gone too far. Fuck it. This is the picture that's going out. We'll just have to go over that in another stream. <laughs> uh, I don't know why they give me search tag. Like, I don't know who's out there. We'll just do the same. <sighs> search tags we gave the car. Mazda. Atenza. Damn it. Oh, I 
I should have just, ah, oh, fuck it, whatever. I hope this wasn't boring for anyone. I mean, like I said before, I mean, I would just race, but really, I mean, what are you guys going to, what are you guys, what, are gonna, what, are you, what exactly am I going to be doing different other than driving worse than other people? How, how is my stream going to be any different than anyone else's stream? You know, if you want to watch great racing, go somewhere else. <laughs> I only know how to race, like, messily, and I don't want to, you know, subject you guys to the four hours of me just messing up daily races. It just seems like it's so terrible. Uh, new livery available in my gallery. Make sure you know where everyone knows where to find this. This is kind of just an added extra step for people that aren't my friends. I don't know if, how these pictures and liveries get circulated. So you kind of just have to, like I said, spam all over the place. And maybe we should pay, put this, this. Custom. Camel. Maybe we'll do this to the, yeah, maybe we'll do this to the Porsche. I mean, this is really cool. Maybe we can even do something that's closer to what our source material was. Is now available in my gallery for download once again we'll spam the channel <laughs> watch my Design process on. Sorry, guys, my blame PlayStation for not giving me an easier way to input stuff. I mean, I could get a keyboard YouTube channel. at www dot me dot com and that's it that's finished now <coughs> if you hadn't already put your livery on your car or maybe you have several liveries for your car at this point. Um, you're going to probably wonder how, you know, how you're going to be able to take stuff on and off your car. And like I said, I'm kind of, I know you guys have, a lot of you guys have had this game for a long time. Maybe some of you haven't, but maybe I'm a, I would imagine the majority of you've had this for a while. And you know how to do this. I'm kind of doing this for people that don't know this. And maybe you've owned this game for a while. And you still don't know how to do this. <laughs> Let's clear it up. So if you wanted to change this livery. You would go to here to change. In your home. In your garage little thing. You would come over here to change car livery. And see. I told you it was going to give me uh, duplicates. So I'm going to have to go to my library and fix that. Um, you go over here and you just look, I already got a like on my, my activity. Um, you go over here and just change it. Boom. Done. Want to go back? 
Boom. Just make sure you're doing the right one. Um, like I said, these are all, I think, different. It should be the last one that you made. Yeah, see, I called these. So it's definitely that one. Yeah. These are all arranged chronologically by date made. So this is my earliest for a vendor. Earliest version of this, next earliest, next earliest, uh, next latest, next latest, next latest, and then the latest would be the last one. And then that's the original livery that came with the car. So we'll just keep with that. Press OK. Livery is now being applied. I don't know why it's applying it because it's already on the car. Just make sure that it's the same thing that we want to put on there. And, uh, We can do that by going to shit. Wrong button. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, we got a delivery editor. Sorry. See what I mean? Let's just make sure that it's the right car that we. Yeah, see, it's split it up to two. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Like I said, this is the system is just so. They wanted to really make, you know, a system that was like friendly, like computer, but it, they really, really failed at that job. <laughs> Whoever designed any of these menu systems should be fired. It's so just so, so bad. Um, now we have to go and clean up the shit that's already in here. Options. Let's delete that. Because we know that's not an option. That's not one of the designs that we want. And then it does this weird thing. And if you go to library, my library, and you go to car livery, look at how many of them copies they made. They made like 20 million copies. Why? Why does it keep on doing this? I just don't get it. So here, like you said, like I said before, there are times. So if there's any question on whether or not I mean, I guess this comes in handy for if you did make a mistake big enough that you need to revert back to a different version. Um, if you can't find it in the... And I don't understand why... This is another issue I have with this. Why? Why is this... Like, technically, I should see all the designs I made for this car. Even, like, reverse, reverted... Versions should all be in this screen. Why, why aren't the millions of attendances that are showing up on the other screen, which is supposed to be in my library, showing up here? Like the only attendance that I have in here, design, is is the latest one, which that makes sense. But the idea that I have to go all the way over here to my library go to car livery and then look at all of these it's like why why is and like i have to go through all of this stuff and try to figure out which car is the ones that are which cars are the ones that i want to keep and the ones that i want to delete because this i think counts against my library score about how many how many deliveries i can have on in my library i think that's i, I guess if you have a, a an actual number of value for like memory but this, this is just insane, man. This is just like insanity. It's so like terrible as far as like, I don't know. It just seems, it just seems really redundantly, like redundant in a way that isn't good. It just puts stuff in areas that like, Christ. It, it's, it makes everything a lot harder because then I have to sit here and like decide whether or not I should be erasing this or not, you know? And I want it to take up a bunch of space. So all the ones that are shared, I definitely want to keep. It's these ones that I don't know. And that looks like, I mean, I honestly just go by the latest date. So I could probably delete Like, I just want to keep the most recent ones. Probably delete that one. 
I could probably delete that one. For this Cayman, I could probably delete this one. I've got to keep that shared one. This one. And I'm saying that like that because I don't know exactly which one this is. Except for the time that it was created. And then that one. I only want to see one or two of these cards. At the most, two. I think these three are right. That one's right. This one's right. This one I think I can get rid of. I think. I don't know why I have two versions of this because I don't actually drive. The only car that should, the only two cars that should have a non-shareable version are my these cars, all the Porsches. Because I don't. I do when I do my own cars I put my own personal information like my website and um my you know obviously my door number well I guess the door number doesn't change um but then I also put my name above the door and the ones that I share are different because I don't I don't spam my shit all over it just so that it's you know it looks cleaner so i i don't think i need this one anymore we're just gonna delete it because it's old i think i can delete this one i think Shit. well i'm never gonna know anyway at this point and then these hello kitty ones i just don't know how to tell I made so many of these cars that I just don't know I, I don't think I think that one um, I keep maybe th this one I can delete I think delete I think I'm gonna be really sorry when I find out that and then I don't drive this Audi. I really don't plan to drive that Audi, so I mean, I don't give a shit if that gets deleted or not. If anything, what I can do is, like, like I know the changes that are made between the shared cars and the ones that I actually drive. So I'm making it just always, I can always go back and just make all the changes that I need to. So now I want to go back to my library. My car livery library, that should be cleaner. So I don't have, like, three million of, like, the same design. Once again, like I don't understand why this is a, just in one one me one menu. It should be. You would think that like to make any sense, it sh should all be in like one unified menu, but it isn't. It's just it's just a shit you got to work with with Gran Turismo. But that's it. I think we uh, we are finished. Let's see. Let's take another look at the uh, finished product just to kill time. We've got another 10 minutes left in the stream, so look, I've already got like a like. Thing's only been on the thing for what? A, oh, I got two likes. Oh, no, that's Jared. Yeah, shit travels fast around here, man. <laughs> but it looks good. And if you guys who are watching this like. The, the design go ahead and you know either find it on the search function you saw what i put it under and or if you know you want to friend me and just go into my gallery there should be this should be just sitting in there uh yeah i like this i really do like this let's uh let's take a look at it in the in the form that we can uh We can uh, manipulate the car. What car is that? Oh, that's that GTI. Is that the one without the roof? The convertible? Is that game? Is that car even available in the game? That's a pretty slick looking GTI. I want to do one of those next. Maybe soon. Maybe we'll do it in the next car. 
I'm really ashamed about my lack of grand or of Volkswagen love for this game. I haven't I haven't bought one of the Volkswagens. What type of Volkswagen person am I? I should at least own this. I think I own the GTI. I think I own this one, which I've actually owned in real life. Uh, God, I wish I had one of these in real life. You know how much these things are? These things are ridiculous. One like this, which is, I think, yeah, this is a multi, like a, what, 11 window, whatever they call them. These things go for so much money. It's not even funny. I talked to a guy at a car swap once, like a car, it was like, it's like a half car swap, half meat, and he literally had one that was rusted. Didn't have an engine, didn't have anything, just this rusted frame and chassis and body. $36,000 he wanted for it. And he could probably be very easily gotten that for that. Where is that, um... That GTI, do they not offer that in this game? Oh, it's one of these cars. So why doesn't anyone want to drive this one? Does it just suck or what? It's a Group X car. Oh. I guess that's like a Nations Cup thing. It's a million dollars too. Maybe I should buy one of these. I mean, I mean that would be a fun car to make a delivery on. There's so much. It's just basically a cheese box. You know, it's like a little, uh, just a box. <laughs> Lots of surfaces to work with. Um, the the one issue I have with my car is uh, I and mean, this would be even easier palette. This would be a way easy palette to work with because it's just, once again, it's just a box. Maybe we'll work on this one next. I see a lot of people drive the Scirocco. I know a lot of people use it for FIA. So maybe we'll do one of those next. Maybe someone out who's been watching, if you've got a car that you know you want me to design, tell me, we'll, we'll work on that design. And then you can download it when I'm done. Finished. Yeah, the problem I have with my cars are since it's Porsches. You know, I'm dealing with that typical 911 kind of shape. There's just so many curves to kind of work around. <laughs> Not to say that there aren't spots on it that I really enjoy. And then... It's funny because I, I will always like exploit the same spots for the same exact reasons because it works well. Uh, and those spots are uh, particularly on, on, on the RSR cause, because the wheel wells are so... Like look how many options it exists. It's like insane. Why, why give me, why, why, and that does I don't know, I'm not going to, I'm going to quit bitching about it. But like this Porsche, the Porsche symbol right here in the rear, when you look at it from here, it, it makes this really nice, like, very subtle, like, curve. You know, and then when you look at it from the top, it kind of falls along that, that path. Uh, I, you know, I've made do with all of the, shapes and like abstractions that I have in my way. The one thing that really kind of kills me with the designing with this car are the threes, these three lights. Those are the lights for signal, that signal what position I'm in for the top three. So obviously for third place, all three of them would be lit. For two, the two bottom ones are lit, I think. And then for the first place, this top light is lit. That's why, it, you know, you got all those little tiny lights inside of there. But uh, as far as, like, having to work that into the design, I used to have my whole Hello Kid do design. Uh, my old Hello Kid do design would run right into those lights, and I never liked how it looked. It just looks really bad, and I don't think see 
how those three lights just kind of just slam into her face. I don't think that's enough to like, would, would be enough to make a sponsor go. I don't like where that sticker, that, that decal's placed. But it's enough to piss me off, especially when those lights are lit. Um, it really bugs me seeing with them lit because they just don't, especially this one, because it's kind of in her groin area. I know Hello Kitty is a cat and she's also a she. <laughs> But I don't like the idea that that will light up down there. I'm trying to be G-rated, folks. Uh, this is like a really sloppy design. Like, look at that. See how much... I mean, I tried to even that line out as much as I could, but I couldn't. It's just when you get this far out, it just looks like it treats one thicker than the other. You know, I tried to make this one as even as possible. This is... This was me uh, trying to get used to doing, using this livery editor again. Um, it had been uh, years, at least 20, 10 years, maybe 15 years since I had done a livery in Gran Turismo because I haven't owned a PlayStation until, since uh, college until now. It's been a long time. And it's been a long time since I've worked with it. And it's amazing that it's been that long. And they still have got a lot of <laughs> issues with it. You, I would have hoped, and I was hoping when I started working with it, I was just like, maybe they worked out those issues, but they didn't. Um, this is an interesting design because this was before I had any of my decals or anything for my actual brand. So when you come down to here... These all had to be individually, if you look at it on the right hand side, all had to be individually laid out. I had to line it all up, space it all out. This twitch.tv is actually a decal that I picked up from the search option. And I was so glad to find this because I wouldn't have to actually lay that out. You, you don't know the day that I found this decal, I was like, oh my God, thank God. There's at least one that says Twitch TV. Um, that I don't know, so I don't have to. I don't have to lay that part out. I mean, it's just a pain. It's a huge pain to have to do all these letters, all of this lettering. You know, individually, huge pain. Not to mention, I have to scale them and make sure that they're all straight. What a nightmare! What a huge, huge, huge nightmare! I could change it now, but this is honestly, this design probably won't ever get used again. I might race with this car, this design again. Uh, I would fix all of this back here. Just so it didn't look so sloppy. Honestly, I don't really use my Twitch channel either too much anymore. I just direct everyone to YouTube because, you know, my Twitch my Twitch redirect is on YouTube anyway, so I just I'm just using YouTube as uh, the main the main page. It's not a bad design. It's real simple. Uh, you know that's that's kind of how you kind of evolve your liveries. You know you kind of along the same lines of that I came up with this livery. Now at this with this livery, I've dodged those lights. All right, um, kind of know what to expect. I know I have to still dealing with the landmarks with the car. This this is a really big portion of the car that I have a problem with is this front part because I have those vents that go like this, which will tend to. Like, you can look at Kitty, like, from here, and it won't do anything. But if you look at Kitty from here, you see all this weird doubling and stuff that happens. Um, definitely, this is... But this is kind of a little bit more involved, but more clean than the other design, if that makes any sense. Probably have a little... Maybe way too... Maybe one or two, maybe more sponsors than I want to. Um, but 
But overall, it's, it's you know, it's always going to be a work in progress. All this, none of this stuff is set in stone, as you've seen. I'll find something that's wrong with this, this camel livery. I guarantee you I will. Like, I'll see it tomorrow or something. Uh, but I think that's about it. I think uh, we're at now four hours. I don't even know who's awake watching this right now, but um, I think that's going to be it for today's stream. Well, we've accomplished a lot. We've got that one camel car done. Let's, uh, let's go back and just... We'll end it on the camel car uh, in my garage. How about that? We'll just take a look at it. Uh, you know what? We have got a better way of looking at it. And I don't even know if anyone has looked at this in your garage. You have this one function where you can just... You can do the garage photo. You can do this view car thing. Where the car will just give us a little history of the car underneath. And the car will drive by us in several different versions. <laughs> in several different scenes. See in the daylight. That does look good. I'm proud of myself. I think I did a good job. I don't have anyone else to tell me that I did a good job. Jared said earlier that it was a good job, but uh, he never. I don't. I don't know if you watched the rest of this to see if it's something that he likes. I like it. I think it's cool looking. I think it looks the part. Yeah, I'd buy that for a dollar. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, at that, let's uh, let's end the stream. I would like to thank everyone who's watched the stream for watching. I'm super glad that you were part of my day, and I hope that it was a good part of your day. Uh, if you're interested in any more livery designs. I don't think I don't think we have a schedule just yet for the next races, but I hear it sometime in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we'll go back to racing. Um, but for now, I think maybe tomorrow we'll tackle another livery. Uh, we'll, we'll figure something out. You know, let me, let me, oh, see, look, we got another like on our, on our, on our, on our livery. Um, but to those of you that have tuned in and watched this, uh, thank you so much. And, uh, you know, for those of you that watch this later on, uh, thank you just as much. Uh, this is going to be me signing off, saying salutations, good night, be happy, be safe, uh, and come back and visit us tomorrow where we'll, we'll be getting into more... GT Sport tomfoolery. Um, until then, uh, see you guys later, and thanks for watching.